Oh god, we're going live early. We're going live early! Hello! And welcome to the strangest carrier in the world. Why is everyone... What's up, what's up with everyone here? What's up with the chairs? The gravity, the gravity initial dampeners have gone completely mad. We've got people sitting on the bar and oh my god, we're jumping. Hey, you doing? How's it going? 07. Can you hear me? Is everything... I, I didn't do the te enough testings. Oh, look at that. I'm still in the bar. <laughs> what is going on here? Why? Why is the gravity like this? I think we're because we're close to a very large star things get a little a little wacky But here we are. It's Saturday. It is elite dingus time and uh, today we're gonna be exploring the fate of the kingfisher Hello loot and Dante chinick. Oi oi! And 07 to everyone. We're just Checking out the bartender who's snug and she literally comes with the carrier. She's planted in place What is going on here? I do, I do love when it, this happens. It's so bizarre, just walking through your carrier, and it's like, okay. Hi. Oh, you're normal. But you're not. He's just having a sit. Let's see what else. Who else we got in the hallways of our corridor? Shouldn't these people be getting to their seats? We're about to jump. Look at the Danga bus. What a beautiful bus. Uh, anyone in here? No. I wonder if the people do walk... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, apparently, the door... <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Are your arms comfortable? Yes, yes, they are, aren't they? You have a rather scary... It looks like uh, Bruce Willis. We got Bruce Willis here becoming one with the chair. What about Vista Genomics? What's, what's going on in here? Oh, oh, oh my, sir. Is he standing on a stool? Look at that, he's balancing precariously on his tippy toes. This is the this is the kind of gusto that I want from my Dangabus employees. Do I have arcs to pay for those bar stools? I thought I, I I feel like I've given Frontier enough arcs. The bar stool should just work. Unfortunately, I can't get through this crack in the door. It's making me nauseous. Although, if I remember correctly, if I just time this right at the very right moment when the carrier is jumping. I might actually be able to escape. What are we at? 34 seconds, okay. We can do this. But yeah, today we're gonna be uh, checking out the fate of the Kingfisher. Of course, the Kingfisher had a CG last week. It was one of the first of many attempts at uh, Thargoid diplomacy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try to escape the carrier. It's charging up. I can feel the jiggle. The jiggle engine is going. The jiggle engine is working. Can we break free? Can we escape the fate of our carrier? We can! And get a rare shot of the outside of the carrier as it's about to jump. Ooh, space lighting! Yeah, so I'm jumping to a system that's very- oh, oh, what's up with the chairs? I wish I could go into camera mode during this jump, because the jumps look really freaking cool in this game. Uh, very popularly, yeah, this guy's high on space mushrooms. I think Onion Head. I Onion Head's gotta be like the drug of choice in this galaxy. That's that's what that's that's what we're smoking in our in our tobacco pipes, wacky tobacco. It's onion head, it's cream of onion head soup. Um, but yes, where are my carrier staff? Who's flying this thing? There's something to miss. Something is definitely going wrong on the Dengue bus. Maybe it's the effect of the the stargoids. They just cause your crew to die. Oh my god, it's so cool. I still love these fleet carrier jumps. This is a. Uh, Certainly, like, uh, one of the nice quality of- oh, there they are! Where were you guys? You were just invisible. I couldn't see you in which space. Let's see if we can go to ca oh! Shoot! Wrong hollow me! Oh, that's Bradford, apparently. Oh, that's right, I was using, uh, Bradford for my latest video. Which, yeah, by the way, so, we are, like, very, very close to- uh, let me, hold on, let me go change my face. Um, we are very- where can I do that? Can I do that here? No, that's carrier management. I need a computer device. And it looks like the chairs has settled back in. Maybe it does have something to do with gravity. It could be because I was very—I was near a very large star. Maybe when the gravity is too much, it just displaces everything on the carrier. I don't know. Uh, all right, where where's the computer? Where can I change my face? Here we go. Let's just uh, spatch the fire ourselves. Look at Bradford's ugly mean mug. Oh yeah, I forgot that he has a tattoo. All right, which spatula shall we be today? The classic spatula, the sort of 70s cop spatula, or the rugged out in the dark uh, for way too many months spatula? I think we'll go with 
Just regular old uh, classic spat. Now what do we do? Just exit? Uh, sure. Ah! Everything's gone dark. Okay. Is my face correct? There we go. There's the old spatula that we that we all know and love. Although, I still wish I could make it look like it did back in the beta universe with the unusually long head. Alright, heading, heading out to uh, Echo the Dolphin here. So yeah, um, obviously last last week the, the uh, community goal was like, bring fruits and vegetables to the... Uh, the Kingfisher in an attempt for Xeno Diplomacy. So apparently the Thargoids, I guess, didn't like the uh, fruit salad. Um, and uh, something is no hipster spatula. I, well, I, I ha you only get so many Holomies. I wish you could just like have infinite Holomie slots because then I would go, I would go totally ham. Um, but yeah, so what I've heard and, and this, you know, this is uh, not unexpected is that like, like every other attempt to interact with the Thargoids where we sent a mega ship, the mega ship has gone boom, boom. I'm actually going to steal these weapons. Um, and, yeah, so apparently the Kingfisher is not doing too well. Uh, we're going to find that out for ourselves, but um, there are apparently logs that will tell us the, the story of what they went through. But there are apparently Thargs uh, infesting the system. So what I did was I kind of uh, went for, like, a real uh, low emissions power plant thermal spread kind of situation with clean drive tuning and thermal spread as well. So I'm in a little, uh, uh, what I call the Dark Dolphin. Um, oh shit, I forgot to buy limpets. Damn it! Okay. I have to redock and get limpets, because, you know, science. 27 paid holidays were in the ne here in the Netherlands. What does that mean? You get a holiday tomorrow or today? Or is it is it the 27th already? There in the Netherlands? Is it after midnight? Uh, there we go. I'm like, give me docking. Come on, just put me on the same pad. Oh my god, one pad over. How dare you. But look at this. I'm running at 12% heat. Ow. Um, this is an incredibly stealth ship. They won't even see me coming. And the Thargoids, of course, uh, they have uh, vision... Oh, I'm, I'm backwards, aren't I? Or wait, no, I'm not. This should be fine. Oh, wait, landing gear. Yes, yes, of course. But apparently the Thargoids have vision that's based on heat. Like the Predator. 27 days you can get off from work? Wait, what? That's like a whole month. That's awesome. A paid month off? I'd take that. I could use a paid month off in Elite. No carrier fees for a month. Uh, wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, and limpets. Limpets, limpets. Don't forget the limp and repair. Might as well. We're going to bring along some limpets. Just in case there's some... Uh, I don't know what, what um, is there, so... Just in case. Uh, what I do have is the Xeno Olympic controller. Hold on, let me just sell some exploration data to my own carrier. Who gets paid for that? The, me or the Universal Carter Graphics? Do I get a, a cut of my own exploration data? Wrong window. What do you mean? Which window? Like my cockpit? But look at this. 12% heat. They're not going to be able to, to see shit. I'm invisible. Even at boost. Even when I boost, it goes 19%. Which is, like, incredible. So does deployment... Okay, Tiger King's asking, does diplomacy mean the Thargoids are friendly? Then yes, that's what happened. Makes sense. No work for Frontier. Hmm. You, you would think that Frontier, given... You know, if they wanted to be lazy about it, it's just like, yeah, the 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 Thargoid mega... The, the mega ship delivered the fruits and vegetables to the Thargoids, and everyone lived happily ever after behind a permit lock system that you can't see. But, but no, that's not the Frontier way. The Frontier way is... Uh, is that everything needs to be... Oh, hold on. No, that's the uh, the YouTube chat. I need to recopy the system. Uno momento. Jump in the Swaku system. What the hell is the Swaku system? What is that, loot? Is that a trap? Okay, hold on. I gotta copy the system name. But yeah, so the, the whole point was, uh, you know, like, let's send another mega ship after the Thargoids, this time for diplomacy. And like every mega ship before, a few days later... There's a Galnet article saying, uh-oh, everybody's dead and the mega ship is missing. Uh, Xeno Peace supporters killed by Thargoids. <laughs> so yeah, the Kingfisher mega ship vanished uh, with about 3,000 people on board. And then, of course, the Tyrannus, which is what they're calling uh, the first of the Stargoids, Tyrannus, uh, passed through the sector at faster than light speed. Apparently, there's some really interesting footage out there from Canon 
uh, where they actually captured the Thargoid moving through uh, the megaship. And of course, uh, people have confirmed that the Thargoids have blown it up. Um, actually, I haven't read this. What does this say? Uh, Ernesto Rios. Independent and federal sources have verified the Kingfisher was struck by multiple barrages from Thargoid weaponry. Medical teams are currently exploring the wreckage of the megaship in search of crew and passengers. Sadly, from what I've seen, the scale of the damage suggests that the chances of survival are low. No rebuy. Uh, as news of the tragedy spreads, it has triggered the vociferous backlash. Like, who writes this stuff? Like, like um, Lord English? Uh, vociferous backlash against the Thargoid Advocacy Project. This fringe group recently gained a degree of respectability and it, uh, with the involvement of Congressman Dalton Chase. Okay. We got a new character here that we'll probably see a couple galnets uh, on before he gets on a mega ship and Thargoids blow him up. Because uh, I've never heard of this guy before. Maybe maybe he's in the news, but I haven't been paying attention. And other media figures. But now there's a widespread anger that, as Sol today's editorial put it, thousands of people were sent to die based on a vague hope that these alien warmongers might suddenly play nice. Which, I mean, is is a change of pace from sending thousands to die for no reason at all. Congressman Chase told himself told the press he's reviewing the latest reports from the blah, 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 and cannot yet make an official comment as the public. But didn't he just say that this was a what what vociferous backlash? That's a pretty official comment. I don't know. As the public face the Kingfisher mission, it's likely that any formal demands for accountability will be directed his way. So he was like the guy. Congressman Chase was in charge of that whole debacle. Now, meanwhile, Tyrannus draws ever close to human-inhabited space. The Kingfisher's destruction proves definitively that the rogue signal sources are of Thargoid origin and that their intentions are hostile. With the prospect of the Second es Thargoid War escalating to new levels, tensions throughout the core systems have never been higher. So that's the news. That's what the news is saying. It sounds like Update 14 is going to bring a whole new level of uh, kind of crap to the bubble. Um... What are you guys saying? You expect a new cutscene with every act date. I know, right? With the whole Proteus canon. Now I kind of do. I kind of do expect a cutscene. Which, you know, I'll be happy if they do. As long as it's not made by the community managers. <laughs> uh, let's be real. Like I mentioned in my comment, Frontier didn't even want to add anything in seven years to this game. I mean, to be fair, they've added stuff. They have added stuff. Maybe it's not the stuff that we would want or, you know, we're disappointed with the outcome. <laughs> Power play. <laughs> You know, there's been stuff. There's been they put stuff in, a lot of skins. Uh, you did make the F stand out, so no trap. Oh, true. So the Swahuku system for fun. All right, let's see what this system has in it. Nothing. Okay, let's do a little pop of the D scan. By the way, can we see the Stargoid? Where's Tyrannus? Tyrannus, are you there? Okay, is that Tyrannus? No, that's just the blue thing. Uh, is that Tyrannus? No, that's the galaxy. Tyrannus. Where you at, buddy? Can I see you? Maybe it's already, uh, at Sol. Who knows? Um, well, they got rid of all the hippies. Well, that's true. Uh, do I have anything now? Okay, nothing. What about on the, the end? On the end map? Still nothing. What is going on here? Okay, oh, I probably need to do the, the FSS and the, the fissing. A uh, politician was hiding in his bunker. Full-on character. That seems like a politician. Now, of course, we do have these uh, rogue signal sources now appearing. Where is it? No, that's just degraded emissions. Where is it? Is that the signal source? Oh, yeah. So you can now target these things, and they are pretty uh, screwed with your FSS, right? It's like... There's, like, a lot of them. It's kind of, it's kind of, It's kind of a mess. Okay, what's that? Oh, just more rogue signal sources. Now they're kind of cluttering up my FSS, to be honest. Down with the rogue signal sources. Okay, what's that? That is... Oh, a planet. I didn't know there's a planet here. Oh, look at that. We got system chat popping up. There's probably many explorers um, coming along. Hold on. Concentrated signal source. Where'd that? Uh, duh. Duh what? Duh? No. 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 Okay. That's the orbital plane. It says there's a concentrated signal source, but where? Is it in the not plane? No. What's that? I think those are more Tyrannuses. 
Um, can you read this with the announce of the announcer in Clone Wars? Clone Wars? I don't know what the announcer in Clone Wars sounds like. I never watched the Clone Wars. Imagine if this game's code was open source, whichever group decides to put effort into it. This is my dream, okay? <clears throat> so if you didn't see my last video, I made a little fun of the, uh, the latest edition where they're splitting the galaxy once more into Live and Legacy. So you're going to have Live and Legacy, Horizons 3.8, Horizons 4.0, Odyssey 4.0, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know, man. It's And then the base game, I don't know if that's being upgraded. You got the console universe, you got open, Mobius, PG. It's, a, you know, solo, of course. You got you got a lot of uh, different um, things now going on in the galaxy. It's it's a, it's a more, oh, here's the Kingfisher. It's, it just appeared. Wonderful. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be um, a little confusing until we figure it out. But my hope is that maybe Legacy Mode can one day be moddable it would be so freaking awesome if they would start um allowing elite dangerous to have mods which i know that's never going to happen in like open live mode but now that we have legacy mode and like you know really like only like a handful of people that just refuse to upgrade to odyssey and of course console people will still care about it so like let that be moddable let us do mods for elite dangerous i want to drive a thomas the tank engine skinned dolphin and fight um Turn the Thargoids into, like, mud crabs from Skyrim or something. I would love uh, mods for Elite Dangerous. Um, yeah, they added stuff. Okay, but they didn't ta uh, take any other game that has seven years of live service updates. Most would expect more than skins. A bunch of background sim. Well, I mean, a lot of my issue is, like, they have been developing over seven years. Like, let's be real. Horizons was a big step forward. They added multi... Uh, power... CQ... Uh, they added stuff, Okay. Whether it was good or not, they did it. My problem was more like a lot of the the updates that they made along the way were like, oh yeah, we're like reworking crime and punishment. We're reworking this feature that we've rolled out that was crappy. So it's like they have to keep like, you know, two steps forward, three steps backwards kind of thing, right? Uh, but I feel like we are further along than when we started. I remember like, like I started. Um, when did I start? How many hours you got? When did you start? Well, let's let's see what the old. Um, what do, you, what do you do? The codex. It's the codex. What do you do here to see the approximate time played? 13 weeks, one day, 23 hours. I have no life. So basically, um, in terms of hours, like, let me check. Oh, I don't know how to check Steam when my uh, Elite Dangerous is up because I can't see my desktop. But I have, like, over 3,000 hours. And I, I had the game before it was on Steam. So I had to go through that, like, import into Steam whole dealio that they did way back in the day. So Steam doesn't even have all my hours, is all I'm saying. So probably about 4,000 hours, you know. And I still suck. What's up with that? Um, but I, I, I started somewhere after Wings, or around Wings. Um, like, just before Horizons. And played around for with a bit. And then when they did Horizons and added Barnacles, I kind of came back to the game. But prior to Horizons, I did my first Sad J trip. So, like, it's been, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> Maybe six years. Um, console people. <laughs> they are just console people. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm lost here. There's so much chat. Uh, you love the game. Well, you did. It just sucks. I mean, I, I, it's one of those things where I, I don't think it sucks. I think it's just like when you've done 4,000 hours in something, it's going to feel like it sucks. But every once in a while, you kind of just like, even just like docking with a station, I, I just remind myself that I'm like flying a freaking spaceship. And this is cool. I mean, definitely there's been a lot of bumps along the way. And if you've been, like, constantly following the development, it's been very frustrating at times. But this is still my number one squeeze, you know? It's like I still come back. Even though half the time I just do it while streaming. And I don't really play that much outside of streaming. But, hey, man. Uh, I've, I've been consistently having at least two copies of Elite Dangerous installed since a while now. It's been a while. Um... But yeah, there, there were like definitely some lulls. There was like that year without Galnet. There were some like crappy, fluffy Galnet stories before then. But I feel like now it's kind of like okay, this is to me update fourteen is like, are we gonna like reengage all those people that are pissed off, or are we just gonna piss them off even more? And I don't know. Live and Legacy mode could be interpreted as Frontier's kind of like I think people are gonna be pissed off. Let's preserve the old universe. But also, it's like, that means something's going to happen. Something's going to dramatically change. So I'm actually kind of, I have a little hypium, a little hopium. 
Um, the latest Sea of, update is, sea of Thieves update is Ace. They took the community and streamer feedback and reworked the game to be better. It's amazing when developers do that, right? I wish Frontier would do more of that. Although, you know, it's like when you ask anyone on any topic, like, how could you improve power play? You're going to get like 5 million different ideas. So it's like, who do you who do you listen to at the end of the day? You go off Steam, but that's probably better. Uh, they add stuff, but they never finished it. Well, that's that's kind of my problem. It's like they add stuff, and it's like MVP, and then they have to go back and do it again. Uh, it's They should have made anything but open only. I kind of agree, um, although I think solo and private mode have had their, their, their uses, their purposefulness. Um, I am always playing in open. I'm in open right now. It should be. Yeah, open play. So you can come yank me if you want. I don't think ganking is that bad in open. There definitely have been times where it was bad, but it's not so bad these days. I mean, yeah, you get ganked, but it's not like every time you're in open. All right, I'm going to drop in. You started playing April 5th, 2020 during the pandemic. End of December. You have 9,500 hours? Oh, my God. But most of the... Oh, my God. But by the way, I was not looking at the screen. Um, God damn it. They blew it up. They blew it up, those bastards. Ooh, materials. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's very exciting. Okay, I, I probably need to scan this thing. Is my scan even activated? Because, again, I'm trying to keep my power usage low so they can't see me. 14%. I don't even exist, basically. Uh, what am I looking for here? Fire groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The. Where is the data link? Okay, that's on... Don't put it on the same thing as a heat sink. What are you doing? What are you doing? I probably okay. Let's let's just try to scan it. But yeah, yeah, like ninety five hundred hours is probably a lot of that was. Uh, why this no scan data link? Do I have to be closer? Am I targeting the right thing? Uh, duh. Duh. Usually, frame shift drive anomaly detected. Oh my god, am I not able to data links? Maybe I don't need to data link scan because I can already see this stuff. Okay, um, where's Thargy boy? Maybe we can scan this uplink before he boom booms. Energy surge. We'll just stay, stay motionless and, and still. Shut off everything. Shut off everything. They won't be able to see you if you don't move. Their visions are based on movement. I am hyped about this update. I think this one is going to be like one of the updates that people will talk about as like, okay, the game's not dead. It's like actually like doing stuff. You've been ganked and open only a few times playing since release. I mean, I get ganked all the time, but it's only an unpleasant experience some of the time. Sometimes it's fun. They really need to cut all these servers. The game is massive already. I mean, look, I think part of it is, like, blaze your own trail, right? Like, play how you want. I think that's okay. Um, though I do wish there were more mechanics to kind of, like, encourage people to go and open. Okay, where's this Thargoid boy? What's that green dot? Is that green dot a friendly Thargoid? No, it's a friendly turret. That's uh, that's a new that's a new thing to say. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, need to stop blocking things. I think we're going to do some little material picky-uppy... Well, hold on. Why is my cargo scoop not open? Did I turn it off? Of course. Of course, uh, I don't have power for it. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. We will put limpets on, too, and heat sinks on, too. Okay, there we go. Wow. Uh, yeah. I probably should have th thought about the power levels a little bit more. Wait, I still can't open my scoop. Why? What happened? Can I do it from here? Okay. So apparently maybe my keybinds aren't working. Where is that Thargoid, by the way? Like, I know he was here. He beeped. Oh, we got a chieftain. Who dis? Commander Metsy. Uh oh, we got another energy surge. Okay. Just stay quiet. We're at 10%. 10%. Where's the Thargy boy? Oh, there he is. Ooh, he's attacking that dude. See, that that's because he can see you, fool. Look how cool this looks, though. 
I mean, if we're getting morasses like this, I am not upset. Oh, wait, that's me! They're shooting me! Oh, no! People are way too emotional over being ganked. I mean, it's like, yeah, you, you, can, you can definitely run away and stuff, right? Okay, okay. They're attacking me, but they can't hit me. That's the key. That's the beauty of being uh, basically, like, super uh, stealthy. Is they literally cannot... Um, they cannot hit you. Because their accuracy is based on the heat. So I can just go around and do my thing. I don't have to... Oh my god, missiles. Missiles, missiles, missiles. No! Okay, uh, I spoke too soon. Now I have caustic damage. Now it is a race against time. Uh, before the caustic damage kills us. Maybe this other commander can distract us. Distract them. Oh wait, my caustic damage is not there. So wait, who is shooting missiles at me? And wait, there's two swarms. How many Thargoids are here? This is so pretty. Ooh, I like it. I must scan all the logs. I don't know how many logs there are. Let's see. Uh, oh, three. Okay. I'm done. All right, we'll listen to the logs when we get a piece, little bit of peace and quiet, but um, I want to see what's going on here. So they are shooting the mega ship. Oh, wow. So they're actually shooting the turrets. How can they see me though? I'm only 12%. I could pop, oh, 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 look at this. Looks like this commander has actually started to engage his Thargoid friend. Oh, oh, yeah, oops. Okay, so the Thargoids here also, they're not messing around. They are, in ow, stop it. Damn suicide drones. They are not messing around. They did not waste any time in trading blows. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that the um, the fruit basket we left for the Thargoids did not have the desired diplomatic attempt. Oh, we got scouts here. Oh, boy. That's kind of creepy. Is that a new scout? Oh, look at that. He's scanning me. What's he going to do? Oh, he doesn't care. So wait, maybe that other guy made them mad. And now they're attacking me. I'm going to go to stealth mode. Heat sink. Now I'm at 0%. You can't see nothing. I don't exist. Have I played Star Citizen recently? No, not recently. I'm kind of waiting for that to be like, not buggy as hell. And then I'll give it another good shot. Okay, let me scan this ship op link. Okay, no, I already did that. Wait, I, I need to go. I need to run away because there's a lot of red. There's a lot of shit going on right now. We can come back and get a pretty view, but I want to listen to these logs. Stealthy as you sit there in your whale costume. I am a stealthy dolphin. I know, I should probably have gotten a midnight black uh, paint job. Are those bullet holes the decal, or is that like Thargoid damage? Uh, it's not buggy anymore at all. You never crash? I mean, definitely, I, I think I'll, I'll eventually go back to it, but um, let's go down to uh, that planet if it's close. It is over here, right? Is that landable? Suitable for landing, no. Well, fuck you then. It's bullshit. This is a very barren system to have this event in. What about this unidentified signal source? Is that degraded emissions? I know, no F, right? I still have 19% all. That's my stealthiness. If they can't see you, they can't hit you. All right, fine. We'll go to this degraded emissions. Though I have heard that even in normal space, if you drop out anywhere in this system, kind of like the, the Proteus Wave system, the Thargoids will be there. Now, of course, unlike the Proteus Wave system, your Gargoid, um, Gargoid, your Guardian technology is not super affected. Um, it's not like, uh, uh, Proteist. Okay, I'm going too fast. Or am I? No, I'm not. It's fine. 006. That's the secret number. You can actually get it to 005, if, but just barely. You can just keep it on the cusp between six and five. You're gonna you're gonna be able to drop. Let's see. Can I get it to four though? You can get it to one at the very least. 
You have to kind of wait for your speed to get low, and then, yeah, there you go. Let's see if I can get it to oh one. one There we go. That's a nice, that's a nice drop. Okay, what the heck is here? Private data beacon. Give me your secrets. Ow. Okay. Gotta remember, no shields. Do you have materials for me, sir? Oh, you do? Modified consumer firmware. Boss level. We got a hybrid capacitors. Yeah, why not? I'll scoop this little stuff up. Do I even have collector limpets? No. Of course not. Well, that's fine. I can do it the old-fashioned way. Just give me a second to uh, put this lovely juicy stuff in my belly. And oh god, there we go. Yeah, frame shift anomaly. So it looks like, yeah. Oh, oh excuse me, ma'am. Alright, just, just relax. Just do it carefully. Frame shift anomaly detected again. Oh god. Okay, screw the materials. We've got like multiple frame shift anomalies going on. Oh, we got a red boy. Is it a scout? Oh yeah, this is not good. Running away. Running away. Deploy heat sink. They can't see me. <laughs> Good luck to scoop things with this hot color. I know, right? This is a. Uh, it looks nice and cool and groovy and blue, but like in reality, it's not very practical. All right, I'm gonna mute this uh, music here, and let's listen to these logs. Let's find out what happened to the kingfisher. Then we can go back there and uh, try uh, play and hide the thargoid. Oh, these are audio logs. Excellent. Can you hear that? Hold on. Put the voice audio up. This is Dr. Life Hope. <coughs> Kingfisher. Mega ship scouts are new. All aerosol spray is getting sick. Our research equipment is current generation. Even the core joints have been polished. Dalton Chase, your Tyrannus. You can't hear? Oh, I turn this up. My role is to lead the team seeking to open communications with the Thargoids. Now, we're hardly going to strike a conversation anytime soon. Ah? Uh? I don't even know whether the aliens recognize human communication methods, but we have some ideas. There are multiple methods of sending messages without a shared language. Turn it to 11. My team aye, aye. has proposed various data sequences, audio... Oh, this one only goes up to 10. Such. If we can establish any level of response, then we'll have something to work with. So we're going to yell Imagine and, and the shoot lights at them. Opportunities for both our species if we can make contact. Like lasers. True contact. Not just an exchange of weapons fire. If they hurt us... <laughs> Just thinking about it. This guy wants to fuck with our going. Our jump to intercept Tyrannus is scheduled for an hour's time. I'll update when we arrive. 100% this guy wants to boink a Thargoid. So yeah, they're, they're, they were on course to intercept Tyrannus, which is the, the Thargoid. And this guy's like totally getting goosebumps just thinking about having a nice conversation and some small talk with the Thargoid. Alright, what happened next? We've reached our destination in Hyades Sector YOQB51 and started our observations. So far, we've been unable to make much headway. The Tyrannus signal has decelerated, but our calculations indicate it will still pass us by at a velocity too fast for any meaningful contact unless we get its attention. We're transmitting algorithmic comms, binary encoded hails, and a series of harmonized whistles that don't occur naturally in the galaxy's electromagnetic makeup. <laughs> Too little noticeable effect, I should add. They whistled at it. That's their plan. Professor Palin's theory that the signal source is. They should have used the fruits and vegetables. If our estimates are correct, Tyrannus dwarfs any man-made starport. 
Oh boy. Remain hopeful. Interesting. That the signal has a non-military purpose, but we cannot ascertain its motives through long-range scans alone. Moved aboard the Kingfisher is apprehensive. I believe it is dawning upon the crew that while we truly wish to make peaceful contact, Thargoids themselves may not be listening. I have to admit, I'm beginning to wonder whether we made the right decision by coming here. If only we had a sign that our efforts meant something. So what's interesting about this one is he does confirm that the Tyrannus dwarfs any man-made star point. So potentially, when we finally get to see what these Thargoids, or Stargoids rather, truly are, Tyrannus is probably going to be bigger than a Coriolis, which, that's interesting. We're going to get some massive Thargoid thing. Of course, their, 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 their plan of, like, let's, like, shoot binary and whistle at it. I mean, uh, did, was there a plan B? Was it a flamethrower? If so, then I approve. <laughs> Cat calling the Thargoids. <laughs> Alright, what happened next? This is Dr. Elias Pope. Oh, it's a different guy. I'm standing on the bridge of the Kingfisher. If you're receiving this transmission, we need federal authorities to cancel system access restrictions. Send help immediately. The ship has been attacked by multiple Thargoid vessels. They swarm the system as Tyrannus passed through. We are defenseless. After days of silence, we heard a noise from the Tyrannus signal moments before it entered the system. I don't have time to analyze it properly, but the Thargoid ships appeared moments later. This mission was doomed from the start. We hope they would listen, but... Duh. I don't know whether I should use one of the remaining escape pods. The helmsman claimed they saw others that were just being collected by Thargoid mm. ships. My assistant, she's... She's praying to a god she doesn't believe in for a miracle that can't The Far God? I'm thinking of joining her. It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I mean, what did you think would happen, dude? Come on, let's be real. You were gonna go uh, give them a fruit basket. Like, how many mega ships have tried to like go check out the Thargoids and died? But that's interesting. So yeah, uh, they went out there and they catcalled the Thargoid, and then they were completely surprised when it just blew them all up. But I guess Tyrannus has already popped through. But let's go back to the Kingfisher and see what's going on. I wish I could just like repair my hull. Do I have repair limpets? Oh, I do. I do. I do. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Maybe what we can do is actually just drop into normal space and repair ourselves. Which binding, though? Uh, one. And, of course, they're deactivated. Because my power, my power priorities. Where is Zimp... Okay, I need to turn it on. And... Uh, how about that? There we go. I just need to screw with them... A million times. Okay. Wait, what was that? Frame shift and... Oh my god, yeah, they're jumping in in normal space. Um, and I've got a malfunction, apparently. Why? What malfunctioned? Oh, because it's at 51%. Okay, okay. Running away, running away, running away. Okay. Fre flight assist off. Heat sink. Oh, I was too late. But am I still cool enough that they won't... What is that? Are my landing gear... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. My landing gear down. Okay, where's Thargy boy? Huh? I actually don't see him. Maybe he's stealth mode too. The dolphin looks so stupid with its landing gear out. It totally breaks up that smooth belly. Okay, can I put my landing gear up, please? There we go. Alright, how do I rep- Okay, so I could reboot repair, and maybe that will, uh, help. Right? Hey, what up, Eddie? How you doing? Let's do that. As long as you're in uh, flight assist off mode. You can put yourself in a nice little spiral. Thargoids can't touch you. They can't touch what they can't see. Look at that heat. 10%. This is the stealthiest dolphin in the world. It's called running cold. I do love the idea of giving them fruits and then being upset they died. It's like, you guys are dumb. You're like, we'll bring some fruits and whistle at them. 
And that will show them, that'll show them that our previous two attempts at genocide were totally, uh, totally not our usual MO. Oh wait, hold on, before I jump, let's see if I could, no, I still have, uh, malfunctions. Oh wait, hold on, no, 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 there's, there's something repairing there. Here we go. There we go, 14% of, oh wait, wait, wait. These buddies behind me. Oh, no, 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 not again, not again, not again. Oh, boy. Did that kill my limpet? Oh, no, 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 look at that, look at that. He's still going. Faithful little, oh. I spoke too soon. What is that? Oh, that's uh, bridging the gap, the deckle. The Thargoid cannot keep up with my stealthy dolphin. He's like, where'd he go? I'm fine with that. Yeah, they are really uh, aggressive in this system. That's uh, interesting. Look at that, 17% haul. What a guy. Can I do more repairs? I can. So even though it says malfunction, it's totally fine. Listen to those little repair squeals. I love how the limpet just sticks out of the cargo bay without the cargo bay being open. There you go, little limpy buddy. Now we can get a full view of what you're doing. Which is just sitting there and thrusting into my belly. Whoa. Look at that. It's kind of wacky. But what is it? Like, I wish little arms... Oh, and it's gone. Can I send out another one? Yes, I can. I love the fact, too, that it launches from the cargo bay, goes out, and then just, like, goes back into the cargo bay. And just repairs it from the cargo bay. Am I still around the Hyades sector? Yeah, I'm in the, um... What should we call it? The system where the, the Thargy boys are. In the, in the, uh, the thingy. I think I put it in the description. It should be there. Let's switch to system chat too and see if we can uh, see any other explorers here. What they're talking about. And there we go, another deactivation. These guys are hitting me with DMCA takedowns, man. But they, they, they can't even see me, they can't catch up to me. I'm just drifting in space, repairing myself. And the Thargoids are just, like, very confused. Maybe they think I'm already dead, right? Playing dead in a dolphin. That's our one defense. Maybe that's what we could do, is just everyone in the bubble, we're gonna need you to play dead for, like, a week, and maybe the Thargoids will just go away. Alright, now if I do want to move, I'm probably gonna have to shut down my, uh... Limpet controller. Oh god, I'm being shot at, I'm being shot at. Okay, time to boogie. Uh, cargo scoop up. So long, suckers. Oh no, caustic missile. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't touch me. Ha ha, suckers. Alright, let's head back to the Kingfisher and just scope out the scene. See if we can observe any interesting uh, Thargadu behavior. Maybe we can actually steal some of their flesh as well. Which is always fun. Taking Thargoid tissue samples. Yeah, you wonder how they're going to render it when all the currently Thargoid can be buggy. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think, okay, so here's my big suspicion, is I think we're going to get on foot Thargoid conflict. I just don't think it's going to be Thargoids. I think that's where we're going to find out why they've been taking the escape pods. And we're going to get, like, human people that have been infected with, like, the anti-mycoid virus and are, like, mind-controlled from the Thargoids. So they'll be, like, zombie people that they've been collecting from the escape pods for years. Which is like... kinda creepy. And I think that would actually be cooler than like... initially at least, than, than the sort of starship... Like everyone expects the starship troopers thing, right? Oh look at that, hull breaches. Can we repair them? I think we can. Is it decon or repair? I don't know. Let's try repairing uh, the hull breaches. For science. 
Oh yeah, hold on. I gotta turn that back on. Do I have to like select a sub? Oh my god, I do. I can repair the hull breaches. Now this is kind of a cool um, effect or whatever. Much cooler than the the ship repair. Let's see, where am I limpet? Where am I limpet at? There it goes. So watch this. This is cool. It actually like sends like bubbly gas onto the the breach. Little foamy uh, substance. It's like the limpet is ejaculating into the crevice. And out comes a baby Thargoid. Look at that gooeyness. It actually looks like Marshmallow. Which appeals to me. Oh, we got another commander here. It's Commander Met Metzigan. Well, hopefully they will keep the... Uh, they can keep the Thargoids occupied. And maybe I can go around and seal the breaches. Be a productive member of society for, for once. What up, Dead Star Omega? Borg zombies. I mean, that's pretty much my suspicion. And I think that's kind of cool. I mean, I would love to see the Starship Trooper combat eventually, but I think to uh, to Dante's point there, they're probably going to fuck it up. But look how cool this looks. I like this effect. Though, where is it coming out of on the limpet? It's like coming out of the engines. Uh-oh. I saw that turret move. What's it pointing at? There's something out there. I do really like these green fogs, though. It's very nice. Okay, we got another hull breach. We're going to fix up the Kingfisher. So that we can resume our diplomatic efforts. What was that? Did the audio cut out? Are the Thargoids literally affecting our... Uh, Communication systems? That's another breach secured. Oh, here we go. All right, all right. Maybe if we repair the beaches, the, the, the Kingfisher will spit out a reward or something. You never know. Maybe that's where we have to insert insert Grelic into Thargoid, um, Thargoid Hole. You assume the Thargoid warrior drones a bit larger than commanders. Well, I'm thinking like, okay, like Thargoids are kind of like insecty, right? So, you know, think of them like an ant colony. You gotta have the queen, which might be like the Stargoids, and oh my, what a show. <clears throat> then you've got like, you know, your soldier ants, which I think would be like the interceptors, and then maybe you have your worker ants, which are like the scavengers, right? So maybe we'll get like, oh, the hull breach is all opened up again. What the hell? I just fixed these. What is wrong with this? Okay, fine. I'm gonna do this one. And then while that limpet goes, find the next one. Maybe it's a race. It's a race against time and stupidity. Ow. Oh, 8% hull. Wait, what? When did that happen? You gotta hit, you gotta catch them all. Where's that last one? Okay, it's on the, yet the other side. Come on, little limpets. S spit those, uh, it's like little, uh, you know how the bees, like, spit up the barf and make their nests of barf or whatever? It's like the limpet is literally vomiting on these, uh, fizzling cracks. Oh, that's cool. That The repair limpet nodule is just, like, the area. Yay, we sealed the hull breaches. We saved the, the mega ship, right? It's going to work again now, right? It would be kind of cool if you could restore them and then they would... Oh, a hackable data transmitter. Interesting. I wonder if we got some... We can do some hacks. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Okay, hopefully they're all after a uh, dude over there. And not me. Wait, that sounds uncomfortably close. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go away, swarm. Go away, swarm. No, 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 no. That's right. That's right. Run off. Chase your little buddy there. What did he blow up? Oh, no. I think he's looking at me. 
Don't look at me. Okay, he's shooting at the mega ship. Interesting. Okay. Okay, 3% hull. 3% hull. Okay, do we have recon? I don't think we have recon. We have research. Well, let's see if we can research something. Oh, right, fire groups. I'm gonna research you. Don't mind me. Wait, malfunction. Do I have to select like a module on them? Yeah, maybe I have to scan them with my scans. Ah! What happened? Did he boop me? Okay, I wasn't paying attention to my ult there. Oops. That's enough. Maybe they want more fruit. Oh my god, maybe that's it. Maybe we didn't bring enough fruits and veggies. Or maybe they're wrong fruits. Maybe they, they're more like into rutabaga. Maybe we need to bring some like root vegetables. Possibly, um, maybe a nice salad to wash it down. I don't know. Are, are goids uh, vegetarians? Are they meat eaters? We don't know much about their diet. This is an area we should probably spend more time exploring in. Okay, priority one, buy more limpets. I think what I really want is to be able to take the Thargoid tissue samples. Though I might need um, a Xeno scanner for that. Which probably is going to make it really interesting to try and uh, do uh, power management. Where does that put me? Oh, that's actually better. Wow. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop yelling at me. Okay, so if Lino Limpet, Xeno Limpet is there, and then Heat Sinks are two. Oh, I'm already like. Okay, so if I deactivate the Limpets, activate the scanner, then shut off the scanner and activate the Limpets, we're good. As long as we don't lose our power plant. Or technically, if they're on different fire groups, we're probably okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. All right, we're going back there. Thank you for the Fs. Uh, where'd you go? Why doesn't it show my? Oh wait, because I'm literally it's so small that I have to zoom in. Oh, I wonder. Do I have anything in my? Can I quickly transfer from my carrier? Uh, what do I got here? We'll bring them polymers. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll do that next time, because we're probably going to die again. I would be interested to see if these Thargoids, even though they're angry, will they stop and eat if we provide them with Nami's? Nami noms. <clears throat> but that's it. It's like... Oh, hold on. Let me turn down the music a little bit. It's blaring in my, uh... Blaring in my ears there. But I'll tell you, um... These, uh, Thargoids, um, I totally lost my train of thought there. Oh, wait, no, that's it. That's not it. Where was I going with there? I had, like, a really good thought, and then it just, like, bleh, just, just fell out of my brain. But this is quite cool. You assume Thargoid warrior drones are a bit larger than commanders. I mean, I would like to see a horse-sized Thargoid that is, like, Starship Trooper-ish, right? Yeah, I got a Thargoid heart. I mean, they gave it to me willingly, though. Thargoid Dave, he said, he said, here's my heart. I entrust this with you. No one else shall have, have it. He's a very nice, very nice fellow. Do I have to go into the, the FSS now again? I do want to also chase one of these um, rogue signal sources. Where is Kingfisher? It was by that planet. Which is where? I guess maybe you just scan the planet. No? I guess planet would be on the orbitals. Dar, 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 dar. Hello, Mr. Planet? Okay, there we go. We got you. I mean, technically speaking, I could drop out anywhere here. The problem is, uh... 
it is good to have other commanders there that can be distractions. Michael Inc. would remind like to remind everyone that anyone who gets killed by the Thargoid simply needs to get good, and yes, the Kingfisher crew are included in that list of people. Alright, Michael17. Is that like Ryan M17? That, that, that old uh, classic ganker? Maybe that maybe he got banned and had to create a second account. But yeah, I got I got Thargoid hearts, I got Thargoid tissue samples, I got Thargoid tissues. Literally just tissues that they've blown their green guck into. My carrier is stocked with all the prizes of science and that have been extracted forcefully. I mean, maybe there's a little salvation in us all, after all. We all have that, like, part of ourselves that just wants to do medical experiments on people. Some days, it's easy to just shut that part off from you. Other days, you just can't help it. You just gotta, you just gotta do the science. Goid's not. I mean, I would love, because I do love in the Thargoid bases that you get that, like, icky, wet, kind of swampy feel. I would love to see a mothership with, like, dripping goops of goop. Thargoid goop. But we don't know um, if the Thargoids even have noses. We've only seen the ships. I mean, here's the question for you. Do you think that the Thargoid ships are the Thargoids, or are the Thargoids inside of the Thargoid ship, and the ship is just like a biological... Like, if you were to just, like, uh, you know, like, duct tape a cat to yourself and then why why am I going there why am I talking about duct taping cats to yourself that is not a good metaphor don't duct tape a cat to yourself it's not good for the cat it's not good for you it's gonna end in misery for both of you <laughs> if you do try it let me know though what is this? salvage and exploration okay now don't forget there are materials here no matter how many times we die, they can't take away my materials. Them's the rules. Alright, putting more pips into engines. But yeah, clean drive tuning, I tell you, man. Like, 12% um, heat in super cruise. It's like, do I even show up on the radar? Now, of course, you have sacrifices with it. I have no shields. But if you're doing a Thargoid fight, this would actually be a pretty decent ship if I could, like... Fix the power management. Because obviously, I can't have weapons on this thing. Due to limitations. In theory, I could probably go for... Um, monstered power plant? Or maybe, like... I think the problem here is that... My power plant is only a 3A. And the dolphin... Oh, shoot, 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 Loop of shame time. Uh, yeah, the dolphin... Uh, I think it's a part of 4. I downgraded it thinking I'd be uh, clever. But that might have been a terrible idea. In a long list of terrible ideas. But that's what I do. That's what I do best. Make poor decisions. I'm like uh, a living legend in the galaxy. It's like, Spatula has done everything that we should not do. He has taught us, through the doing, what not to do. He's the great educator. Through his misfortunes, we may all be better men, or, or women, or, or commanders, or whatever. Maybe you have no genitals. It's okay. We are all just hollow me's, after all. Alright, jumping back into the Kingfisher, let's see what's going on. Any peeps? No, okay, we got an instance to ourselves. excellent. Well, first things first, any goodies? I kind of need that sort that stuff. What I really want to do... Oh, yeah, hold on. I don't... Okay, I do have a fire group for the thingies. So it's like... Right to re research, left to thingies. Okay. I gotcha. Oh, my God. This is so hard to see. Where is the goodies? Goodies are this way. Aha! Mechanical scrap, get in my belly. Ooh, pretty. Oh yeah, the hackable data transmitter. I should try to hack that as well. 
But wait, do, I don't think I have uh, recon lipids. That doesn't come with your Xeno Suite. I'll take one of these. Is it like right behind me? Oh, hello. You there, get into my belly. And then one more before the Thargoids. Yo, what's up with my computer voice being scrambled? That is interesting. That normally does not happen, though. Alright, give me the sweet, sweet, unperishable loot. You can kill me all you want. You can't take away my heat dispersion plates. And then you got, like, ooh, black box. No, that could they can, Oh, hold on. Am I booping this thing? Okay, so we got a thyroid vessel. And that is a scout. Can I... Have I ever scanned a scout? Can you even scan a scout? Or is it impossible because they're too damn quick? Let's try. Yeah, I think, like, we really need to be able to, like, increase the range on this scanner. It is, like, super, super annoying. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. What? What? I was not paying attention. Ooh, look at that. Nice little red cloud. I really like the asset, though. That's super cool. Uh... Help. Please let live. Stop the shoot. I'm gonna drop a heat sink right as the uh, power comes back. Go into stealth mode. Eight percent though. I mean like I basically like they shouldn't be able to hit me. Oh no, do I have caustic damage? Oh wonderful. Alright, where's the big boy? I want the big boy. I want a piece of your heart. First let me let me scan you gently that's cool you do your thing I'll do my thing we cool we cool all right don't run away I'm not done yet and then research limit oh deactivated why oh yeah oh yeah I forgot about the thing huh okay do I have to now pick a heart to do thing on? Oh, well, let's see what happens. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna take a little, little bit of a, little bit of your flesh. Just hold still. And this is a Medusa. I don't know if I have a Medusa yet. As you can see, the limpet then goes. It attaches itself. It's not very painful. What's he scanning, by the way? Uh-oh. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, heat sink time. Now it's time to go flight assist off and just like... Oh no. Oh no. This looks like death, but it's really not. It's uh... I'm an experienced uh, Thargoidist. We're gonna be fine. This may look like a bad situation to be in, but... If you, uh, you know, just, uh, think positively, everything will, should be okay. Um, how dare you F me yet? I'm not dead yet. This, oh. Well, well-timed. Well-timed. I'm not leaving, though, until I get a sweet, sweet sample of their pretty little flesh. My thought is like, should I should I just like, the the heat thing isn't working apparently. What was that? <laughs> Maybe loot's on a different time delay. Everyone else is getting a thirty second delay on YouTube. Loot is getting a thirty second uh, thirty seconds in the future, apparently. I just want to like, should I switch to a more tankier ship? Because this heat thing is really not working. <laughs> What else do I have? Let's see here. What what do I have that's like Thargoidy? I know my crate Dangutron 9000. Like this oh what happened? I could actually like fight a Thargoid in theory. Do I have uh Delimpets? I do. 
And then the Thurgometer as well. This does not have the limpets. It has the collectors, but it does not have the researchers. In, the in theory, oh, and then it's also been like spec for human combat. So it's not really the Thargomator anymore, is it? And then that's about it. Yeah, so let's try the Dangatron. Let's see if I have more luck in my crate. The crate, of course, is just such a wonderful ship. It's my favorite prettiest ship. I think the Phantom slightly beats the Mark II. But the Mark II beats the Phantom in the sense that it has coffee. The sweet nectar of the gods. Okay. Remember to buy limpets. Only room for four. Okay, we'll have to be we'll have to be efficient. What this? Restock. Hello. Why you take so long? Uh. Uh. What is it trying to restock? That I don't have restocked. Can I do it here? Uh. Oh. Apparently the remote. What? Okay. Interesting. We found a new glitch. How would I do? What do I do? Uh, should I try like switching ships and then switching back? Let's try that. That's weird. I found a new glitch. Add it to the list. Add it to the list of the, the shit that Frontier needs to fix. I mean, to be fair, it's uh, it's been a lot less glitchy in the past few months. Like, I've not encountered any actual game crashes or, like, game-ending bugs. Just little annoyances like this where it's like, I can't restock, why? Does the Dangabosh not have the materials for flak? Why don't we just, like, like crumple up one of the girders into those little metal shards? Like, that's what flak is anyway, just, like, a bunch of shit. Doesn't even matter what it is. Put some pine cones in there. Oh my. Oh there? Oh! Oh, I see how it is. Okay. There we go. We still got limpets. We're good. Hold on. I'm suspicious. Why do you even have like this? Like who would be like... Hmm, I only want to restock one of my weapons. I'm so glad it gives me the options. Like, who doesn't just click repair all? Maybe those role players or whatever, they're like, I like clicking all the buttons. It makes me feel immersed in a, a universe where I have to do work. Er. <coughs> Ooh, I'm feeling powerful already. It's this crate cockpit, man. It just like... It makes me feel powerful. I feel like a boss. Is that you there, Eddie? Yeah, it is. Yeah, jump in where uh, Hyades. Yo, Q. And then after uh, after we get a flesh sample, we can try and track down Tyrannus, see if we can find the Stargoid, which I don't actually like. I haven't been seeing. Though there's a trick with these things where, weirdly enough. They appear a lot brighter when you're close to a light source. So if you go next to a star, like you would think, okay, the further away from the star, the more less light pollution, the more stars I'm going to see, I'm going to see those stargoids. But no, for some reason, they're more visible when you're right next to a star or a planet and there is light pollution. It's some sort of weird, uh, just strange thing about the game. Okay, boopy time. Brrr. And we want to find the planet, which is pretty much at the B star. Boom, boom. And that reveals the Kingfisher. Yeah, kind of a, a, a sparse system. I mean, the logs are cool, but only three logs. I mean, maybe it's a case where there, there's so much going into for update 14 that they're like, yeah, we got to have this story point, but like we can't, 
You know, they made an asset for it. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that update 14 ups the game a little bit where it's, you know, as much as I appreciate that nowadays it's like, okay, at least these work, right? At least they're not putting something in that's totally glitched and, and people can't uh, do anything with it for like eight days. Like at least, you know, they plop in a mega ship that's destroyed. You can scan logs, you get a little story. It's a proven model, but I would like to see some new things. And that's what I really hope Update 14 brings. Especially um, in the Odyssey, like, outer ship component. My dream is that, like, these Terranists and these, like, Stargoids, that you can dock with them and get out and explore them, like, the inside of a, a mega ship. You're having display issues. But where is the Stargoid? I, I would like to be able to... Like, it, it should have... It just passed through the system, like, not long ago. It should be... somewhere. It is, like, just looking through the entire galaxy and trying to find the... Is that a Stargoid? No, that's just a star. There's a lot of real big, chunky, thick stars in this region. Welcome to the Chunk Zone. Is that... There's a little red dot there. Uh, I don't see any stargoids. Ooh, you see that parallax? You see that like those stars moving? That's how you with the basic discovery scanner back in the day. That's how you'd have to discover stuff by like looking for the red dot. Oh, wait a minute, is that even a star? Like this is a binary system. Oh yeah, of course it is. It's the only other thing here. But where is Tyrannus headed? That's like the big question is like, where is it going to stop? We knew it was going to come here because uh, surprise permit locked. And by the way, I also heard someone uh, posted a screenshot where, yeah, you can see the bottom right there. Odyssey testing permit. What is that? Can I keep it? Obviously, they've just like misnamed the permit or put in a temporary permit so that you can get into this system. I just didn't bother to name it anything other than Odyssey Testing Permit. Look at all those permits. I need to go back on my quest to get all these permit uh, permit locks. Because I have a lot of them, but what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 2. 16 permits. But I feel like there are more permits in the in the out there to be to be gobbled up. I, I don't like having no access to places. Of course, there's one place that I... I I bet you is probably the, the least amount of people have the permit for is when you uh, hit like elite in CQC you get a permit for that to a system and I'm like you have to kill I think you have to get like 25,000 kills or something in that sort of range for you to hit elite in CQC I can't even get a match so that may be uh that may be something where 20 years from now I'm still trying to get that in live mode. Now, what do you guys think about the live mode legacy mode? I'm kind of like, yeah, my, like, obviously my, my little skit was about the, the joking around about the different modes, but I kind of like that, um, they're like, you know what? We're going to fuck some shit up with update 14. We're going to give you guys like the same old boring galaxy that you had for years. Just, to be there just if you ever want to go back and just you know not be uh in a burning bubble i mean that said though i saw some little thread on reddit where it was like for for carrier updates or for carrier upkeep like essentially they're cloning your profile so you know if you don't go into legacy mode and you have a carrier there you'll have a carrier in live and a carrier in legacy but like eventually like the legacy one's gonna eat up all your money Alright, here we are again. Any good loot? Yeah, I'll take it. Something to do while we wait for Thargy Boys to come here so I can steal their flesh. Oh, do I have bindings? That's always a good question. Yes. So remember, you only have four limpets. Use them wisely. 
of course, my, my crate is actually, like, I have soloed, um... Ow! Did I get it? I got it! Yay! Uh, and crystal shards, interesting. Uh, my crate, I have been able to solo a Cyclops. That's about the only thing I've been able to solo kill. Yeah, technically, I'm not solo, because I do see another little hollow dot here. Commander Metsy is, uh... Here and ready to party. Might as well take this. Get in my belly. Now this one's a little easier to see because the dashboard isn't light blue. Oh yeah, don't smack into thing. And of course I do have weapons on this, which is the other fun thing. Where's my Xeno scanner? Okay, it's like over here. Okay. And I also have the, the neutralizer. That's great news. I can neutralize them. For me and Metsy. Who's flying a shieldless chieftain. What's his build? Ghost cannons. Ghost cannons. Just all ghost cannons and beam lasers. The classic uh, Thargoid uh, solo. Hey, what up, Malcolm Hepburn? How you doing? Oh, yeah. The frame shift anomaly has, like, disrupted my ship computer. It doesn't even know what to do. Let's, uh... Let's shoot some stuff. How dare you missile me? Oh. Oh, shoot! I forgot about the thing! I was supposed to do the thing! <coughs> um... Well, at least he's just peacefully chilling there. Um, yeah, I uh, totally forgot about that field neutralizer. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake to be honest. Um, I tell you, I'm getting a little tired of this this whole disabling bullshit. Okay, okay, okay. We can, we can, we can stop shooting me, please. Okay, I need a decon. I need to use one of my precious limpets. Just let me... What binding is it? One. Okay. Because I'm apparently very contaminated. Oh, why don't I pull up that cargo scoop? That probably is a good idea. We will use the uh, the ship as a... As a shield. Which, by the way, I do like the asset for this. It looks very cool. Did they shoot off my decon limpet? Oh my god, they did, didn't they? Okay, so he's engaged with Buddy Boy over there. I'm gonna try to get in and scan... Nope, oop, that was the field neutralizer. Okay, I am not doing anything right today. Let me scan you. Let me scan you. I must be close. I must be close to scan. I think it's within like 400 meters, which is like, honestly, it's a little ridiculous. And I feel like all they would need to do is put out like, oh, hold on. We got field neutralizer. Come on, field neutralizer. What do you mean low power? Uh... Like, I feel like it would be so easy to just add a upgrade to the- Hey, you know how we upgraded your, like, FSD? Now we're upgrading your scanner! And it's gonna be, like, a range of, uh... You know, give me, like, a thousand kilometers or whatever. A thousand meters. Okay, this is like... It's like- it's like trying to, uh... You know, like, juggle a bar of soap in prison, right? I'm not hunting the goid, I'm hunting uh, his flesh. That somehow sounded worse. He's just so hard. Okay, you know what, can I just like research limp at you anyway? Like, do I actually need to target your heart? Oh, no I don't. So that was a waste of time. Interesting. Okay, give me the flesh, give me the flesh. I 
I should probably, like, also decon myself properly. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to just, like, go into combat mode. Build up a charge. Make myself real hot. Oh, that was the wrong circle. And no longer contaminated. Oh no, now he's looking at me. Now, is my research limpet uh, done or working? It seems to be there. Okay, we're good. Uh, hold on. Heat sick, heat sick. He can't see me, he can't shoot. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm certainly. Oh my god, we're getting invested with bots. The Thargoids have sent the ultimate weapon. They have sent the porn bots. I almost added that person as a moderator. Can you imagine if I made a, uh, if I made a, um, a porn bot the moderator? What would happen? You think he's gonna die? Who? Who, me? No. Things are going swimmingly, oh my god. Okay, do we have... We have biomechanical conduits, what the hell are those? I only have 30 of them. Oh, did the other guy blow up a, a buddy? Maybe he did. Or may, maybe that's just from like a scout or something. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that. Cause you know what, even if I die, you, oh no go, no 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 no. Power to sis. Power to sis. Where did my buddy go? Now they're all looking at me. Just give me the conduits. No! You have a macro key every time I die. <laughs> it is pretty frequent. Okay, so apparently the crate is not like... I mean, okay... To be fair, I wasted a lot of time trying to scan that Xeno. I think we can do this. I think we can... I just have to get the right tasks in the right order. We can do this. Do we have limpets? There should be like... An, a like Set the level of limpets that you always want to have. Like 50% of my cargo bay. 100%. Whatever. And it will automatically do it. It's so annoying that every time I have to buy limpets. I don't have that much memory left, Frontier. Don't make me remember things. So all, all I'm trying to do here is get a little, little tiny bit of Thargoid tissue. But it's actually quite hard. I should probably be using the Kingfisher more as, like, leverage, as my, uh, as something to hide behind. You despaired your display issue? You put it into despair and remorse? But I want a tissue sample, and then we can go hunt, uh, hunt a Stargoid. Well, there goes your speakers and auditory cortex. What did I do? Did I yell? Did I go too loud? You gotta not put spatula on 11, because sometimes a spatula is not good with audio balancing. And spatula may scream randomly. Like a little sissy girl. That is, this is the way. Okay, we're B-star. You see though, I know what I'm doing now. Those were all just, they were all just like practice runs. Now this is the real, now the real deal begins. Uh, there it is. I do want to, like, I feel like the Stargoids should be visible. It's like, quick, while we're still by the sun. Oh, there it is! A oh, high star- Oh my god, that's huge. Hold on a second. Is that, like, in this system? I was like, the whole time I can't see it, and it's like, Whoa, oh, okay. Wait, 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 is that a different one? 
Hold on a second. Because we've got one there. Was there not one by the star? Maybe I, I just screwed up the angle. Oh boy. And see that? It just fades into a little red star. Like, where is it now? Where are you now? Oh, it's over there. Okay, let me point at it. As so. And then switch to Rogue Signal Source. Target it. Can I target it? No. So I guess it's not in the system. What would be in that direction though? This is where you just start targeting random stars because I'm not a scientist. It's like, uh, da 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 da. Like anything in that general direction so I can calibrate it to the angle of the protractor. Process of elimination, we will eventually find something in its general direction. HR 1919. Uh, I'm actually getting a little nauseous for doing this. Oh, God. Oh, come on. I mean, I could look at it in the sense that it's like the opposite of a system behind me as well. Have you seen Commander Alexia's video when SG-1 um, flew by? You mean Tyrannus? It's got a name, you know. Uh, and yeah, I did on the, on the, I saw it on the Reddit. It's pretty cool. And it like flew by, like, I don't know if that was sped up or what degree it was sped up, but it, it was like flying by in real time. I was like, damn, I'm sure it was a time lapse, which I would not have the patient for. The Danga bus. It could be in that direction. I don't think it is though, because we're in the closest star. And that was the first one on the list. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there's not that much left to go. Are there just no jumpable stars in this what in this vein? Okay, hold on. So this is to the right. So the system I'm targeting is to the right. And that's Okay, I am here. That's to the right. So Stargoid would be like this kind of direction. Ish. Yeah. Ish. So the Stargoid's kind of like here-ish. What that? What happens if I target that? Is that where it's going? Mm, probably not. So it's kind of like to the left. Okay, hold on. Align myself with the galactic plane. That's like down and we want to go like up and a little bit left. So then we can go here and like align ourselves to the galactic plane. But from the perspective of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we want to go like a little to the left and then kind of up. Like I think that would be the closest. Ish, ish. Okay, so now just a little bit more up. We need more up dude. Swaku? Why do I have Swaku in the brain? Someone was talking about Swaku. Where'd, oh. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho ho ho. They said Eddie uh, wing invite. Yeah, if you guys are online, let me know. I can always uh, send an invite. I think Dead Star Omega's in the area. I'll send him an invite, see what happens. So it looks like Swaku is, like, very close to the Stargoid. That might be actually... You know what? I'm going to go there first, and then we can... Um... Oh, apparently it's too far away. It's a two-jumper. Eddie, let's go to Swaku. Because that looks like maybe the Stargoid is close there. Maybe it'll be in the system. It will always be Stargoid One. Well, that's what I think. When I see, when I think SG One, I'm thinking Richard Dean Anderson or MacGyver or whatever, and like that whole '90s show. 
Where every planet just looks like uh, Vancouver old growth forests. You were in the same system as SG1. It's a bit on top of you now. Well, let's see if Swaku is the, the thing. Had you checked I had sex C15 O? Is that a real. Hold on. Is that a real place? Because I know sometimes, like, they had, like, shit for Kickstarter people where it's like, you can name a system. And that's exactly what I, I would imagine. Oh my god, are you serious? That's a real freaking place? Oh my god. <laughs> I have to screenshot that. Oh my god. I've never been here. It's a little far, I think, to go to right now. Kind of on the other side of the galaxy. This is the, the, the greatest discovery to ever grace the human population. Oh my god, a real system called I Had Sex. Ha! I love it! Okay, Swaffle is the confirmed place. Okay, so it's been confirmed by people with greater scientific minds than mine. Well, let's see. Oh. Oh yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that targetable now? Are we... Are we in Stargoid territory right now? No, because we would see, uh, like, a rogue signal source in this thing. Which it don't. Okay, let's try... S wow, that, that, that's very, uh... Very much brighter. Like, this is close. Swaffle. Not Swaffle, Swaku. If, if you, well, like, if you go to a, a, a Waku house and order, uh, syrupy Wakus, there's a real difference between a waffle and a Waku. You're going to be, and then, and then a Wacko, which is what you are if you go to a waffle house and order a Waku. I was, like, half expecting to get hyperdicted there. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got a lot of carriers here, so these are probably the cannoneers looking for their uh, cool screenshots. Now, do we have a rogue signal source anywhere in the system? A Den C one. Now, what was happening before, and we tested this, is uh, when the signal source appears in the system, you can go to it. It's kind of like trying to dock with uh, Midland Hollow. What about these identified ones? Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, it's kind of like trying to dock with Midland Hollow, where you have to kind of like catch up to it. Um, when you did, apparently people were getting crashes, and the crash reports were showing that uh, the reason it was crashing was because of a lack of a certain Titan, which is interesting. Uh, by the time I got there, there was no crashing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is the biggest I've ever seen a Stargoid. Well, hold on. Let's see if I, uh... Oh, Swaffle is Dutch for Swaku. Well, there you go. Then I was being... I was wrong and just being culturally insensitive. This one sounds hungry. That's loud. Oh, interesting. So look, you can see the distance there counting down. So only 248,530,000 light seconds away. I mean, in theory, I could start heading out now. I just don't know how long it would take to get there. What if I just, like, go a little bit? Like, in theory, okay, so, like, that should be... Past all this crap. But, like, yeah, that's, like... That's closer than, like, the next star. Or, wait, hold on. How many seconds in a year? We gotta do some math here. Hold on. Let me pull up the old calculatrice. Let me let me see if I can put this calculator on the screen. Uh, what would you do for this? Window capture. Yeah, that's the one. Here we go. Okay. So, there's 60 seconds in a minute times 60 seconds or 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day times uh, 
what is it? Uh, how many days a week? Seven days a week times how many weeks in a year? Oh, wait, hold on. Divided by seven times f 365 days in a year? Is it four? I don't know. That's how many seconds are in a year. And then we divide that by 5.36 light years. It should be 5. I, I don't know math! Ah! <laughs> okay, get that calculator out of here. Get out of there, math boy. Okay, let's just, okay, now that we've gone a little bit, let's now do another check-in on Mr. Mr. Rogue here. That number looks smaller than before. Okay, so t if we can make a dent in 248, like, I wonder if we could actually, like, fly it and meet it. Like, the question is, is it in the system currently, or is that, like, uh... Like, in, is that just like a, a background image, right? And is there a certain point where it, it transitions over and Tyrannus appears? But Tyrannus is like, looking very spider-like. Oh, look at that. The, the, the great fade has begun. As you head away from the light source, bizarrely, these get dimmer. Can we see any of the other ones? They're going to be hard to see in the dark, which is so counterintuitive. Yeah, that's Tyrannus. Easy to know where it is because the horseshoe's right there. I did not see any others. You finally finished your build, Eddie. What's your build? Is it your uh was it, when you do something you were doing something with a beluga? Bunsen works. Now this is interesting because if if Tyrannus is coming here, this will be the first system that actually has like shit in it. Like here's Atley Point. Where is Atley Point? Oh, it's behind me. But like this has an installation. This has two outposts. So the question is, if Tyrannus does come here, what's that going to mean for all the uh, uh, human regalia here? Your crate. Oh, nice. You're rebuilding your sixth crate? Oh, my God. Yesterday, the targeting thing told me it would take 22 hours to get to the signal source. I was in the same system four light years away. Oh, God. See, I can't even, like, target the signal source, but let me slow down again. Let's see if we made a dent. It was 248 before. Now it's 248, but that number is lower. Look at it. It might take literally a week. How much time do you guys have? I know some of you are in like the Europe's and you have to sleep or whatever. Should I just like leave the stream on, do a continuous 14, 15 hour stream and just not give up until I, until I manage to touch and lick Tyrannus? What do you guys think? I think that might be an accomplishment. That might be the most interesting stream ever. I won't even talk. I'll just do heavy breathing. It'll be like ASMR. Or I'll eat like macaroni and noodles and stuff. You'll just hear slurping noises as the uh, the Stargoid gets closer and closer. Look at this beautiful, beautiful crate. I've of course got the uh, Salvation paint job, which makes it look a little owlish. It kind of looks like an Ace of Spades... Um, in a deck of owls. Pretty swag, though. Will <laughs> my internet last that long? I don't know. It depends. Right now it's winter, so like there aren't hornets anymore uh, trying to build a nest in the cables. And the wind—I mean, the wind can flap them around. And if the wind flaps around the cables violently enough, then you know you get like a little mini Carrington event, essentially. I wonder how they coded it. Like, I don't know anything about coding. I'm like, how did they code these these Stargoids in here? Some people were saying they used, um, like, there are, like, assets about comets or whatever. Like, a comet uh, is in the game, but it's, like, invisible and you just can't touch it. And apparently they used, like, whatever asset was there for the comets to, like, use this. But I don't know. Yeah, certainly quite a lot of people camping out here. 
I wonder, where is the best place to view Tyrannus? If you wanted to get a nice time lapse, like maybe one of these outposts might be interesting. There's one, two, two outposts, a bunch of ground bases, like lots of uh, Odyssey stuff, Birdo's works, Bogaki's minerals. Koi stop, Bates Depot. I still can't believe there's a system called I Had Sex. That's amazing. Okay, let's do a check-in. Yeah, like we made a dent in that. It's not 247. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sit here the entire time, but... This one is no distance. Interesting. Okay, so like some rogue signal sources, we don't get distance because we're probably not even... It's not even close enough for it for us to care about it right but the one that we are heading towards we do have a distant marker which implies to me that it's already in system okay hold on let me mute the music i want to see if there's like any difference in the audio okay this one i'm getting a whole like what is what was that sound it sounds like a box of nails falling down the stairs Versus this one. That was that same sound. It's kind of like an octopus sucking in a mouthful of gravy. Is it gravy instead of gravy? <laughs> Who mispronounces gravy? Apparently I do. Should I run a spectrogram on this? I bet you... bet you it's not going to show anything. Maybe that's exactly what they want you to think. All right, where are the other signal sources even coming from? We got one over there. Oh, that one sounds super mean. What this one? I got nothing. That one's quiet. It's always the quiet ones you should be the most scared of, because they don't want you to hear them coming. Oh, that sounds like a tummy rumbling. That's a scary ass sound. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, this does not bode well. We need more fruits and vegetables, people. We clearly did not have enough on the Kingfisher. But this is the one that like you can see, like we are getting closer. What what system is this, Tiger King? Blea Dry, okay, hold on. Let me, let me copy that. It has many secrets to show you. Does it have like a planet called I Had Sex With Planet? Okay, hold on, let's uh, explore this on the map first. Oh, that's freaking far away. I'm not getting there in one go. Ooh, it's very pretty though. Is that a planetary nebula? No, it's a blue white star. Though it has a TT star, an AOVZ star. Oh, hold on, where's my music? What is here? What's this system famous for? Hold on. Little quick Googling to look at spoilers. Oh, apparently it has 31 objects. Oh, wow. So that's five kilometers away. This would be a great thing if you were trying to unlock uh, Palin. This would be a, a, a nice little destination. Get you exactly what you need to unlock him. According to EDSM. Uh, there is no system summary. Interesting. So what is there? What what uh, what secrets are there? I'm like very interested, but I'm obviously not going to travel like all the way to basically. Oh, it's right by Thor's Eye. That's a cool little place uh, you can check out as well. You can see all my bookmarks from uh, Clodian back. I think one of these. Um, I think it's this Blea one. That's just marking where I discovered a pretty cool thing myself. Yeah, there you go. A neutron star and an Earth-like world. All sitting pretty. Like, can you imagine uh, a colony on an Earth-like world looking up at a neutron star, right? And I don't know if there's nothing else because, like, I just didn't bother scanning anything else or if maybe that's all there is here, but this has my name on it and I should probably go back and map that because probably get money for that. But yeah. That's mine. Oh, man. It's 
So I guess Swaku is where this thing is coming. I can't go all the way out there. The secret was on EDSM. Wait, what? I'm looking at EDSM. I see like... Earth-like world, water world, ammonia world. Wow. All three in the same system? That is actually really... Uh, quite impressive. 173 celestial bodies. Holy cow. That's a gold mine, really. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't mind going there and back in a stream. 5,000 light years is not too bad. Just not in this ship. I'm just looking at it here. I can't see anything that's like a secret. But it might be that might be the system with the highest number of bodies I've ever seen. Look more. Oh my god. You're making me do looking with my mind. Okay. I'm trying to use my brain here. Estimated value 1.1 million. That is great for exploration. Uh like I see bodies, lots of ringed things, lots of moons. Is there a black hole? Is there is there Raxla? Hold on, let me do control F Raxla. No, it's not there. 173. Oh, that is the secret. That is a lot. I, I don't think I've ever seen a system with more crap in it than that. Alright, time for check-in. Let's look at the distances. I don't know if we're going to get to this thing. Like, if this is... 247. I mean, in... Oh my god, that's loud. In theory, I think we could. Would it be interesting, though? Hey, what up, Fresh Baklava? How you doing, 07? We're looking at a Stargoid here in Bernard's, uh, Bernard's eyeball. Of course, I think the Stargoid is actually in the system, because that's the only Stargoid, Tyrannus, here, if you didn't know its name. Well, hi, Tyrannus, I'm Spatula, nice to meet you. Would you like some fruits and vegetables? <clears throat> it was found just in March. Oh, really? Wow. Well, as they, you know, they say only 1% of the galaxy has been explored. I don't know who says that, just Frontier. I have a feeling they're lying to us. But then again, you know, you look out there in the black and it's like, it is crazy that it's like anywhere that you pick, let's just pick here and you zoom in. And it's like, has anyone been here? I can't tell. You can't tell unless you go there. Watch it be like, yeah, system map available. That's Raxla. That could be Raxla. And you just don't know it yet. And it's just like, you scroll along, you're like, there's no way, um, there's no way we will ever get to 10% of the galaxy. It's impossible. All the interesting shit might have been looked at, like all the nebulas. Like, I would be surprised if there was like a nebula out there. Like, there's a couple. Let's go there. The Zothai AA Nebula. I'm sure it's been explored. I bet if you went there, these these stars would have names all over them. Of course, you can't you can't look at them until you go there, which this is a little far away to do that. What do you mean Raxlet doesn't exist? Is this is that because you you've made no friends along the way? I mean, yeah, the likelihood is that if Raxla is in the game, it's probably just like a beacon <laughs> saying, insert Raxla here later. Signed, David Brapen. I do like how this nebula is like totally dark. I would go here. It's like a black nebula. It's kind of crazy. The dark space. You can check on EDSM if they've been explored. Okay, well, let's do a test. I'm going to copy this name. Throw it into EDSM. Because this is in a nebula. This system was visited for the first time on EDSM by XWTF X Higgins. Uh, two ships passed through this space, including zero ships in the last seven days. Wait, what? 
Okay, so I think two ships have passed through this system. So two people have been here. What about this one? Usually when, when explorers get to a nebula, they, they like take everything. Wait. So this system... was visited for the first time by Chris Masterski on November 2, 2022. Interesting. So that's actually like... Like this month. So apparently this nebula, that star was not visited until this month. That's actually kind of crazy. I mean, that that is weird. You're hyperdicted, Ray? Oh no. What happened? Were you just jumping between systems and they, they took you down and pulled your pants down? And spanked you? Uh, when are the Goids supposed to show themselves? I haven't been keeping up with it. So, I mean, you can see for themselves, they are visible. Just barely. Um, in terms of when they're supposed to show themselves, well, I think the suspicion is that update 14, I believe, is like, like the 29th or whatever. So I don't know what what is the what is that in the Gregorian calendar? Because I use a different, I use the, uh, I typed in Google Google for Google Calendar, but I got Goid Hub. If you don't know about Goid Hub, by the way, go to Goid Hub. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, yeah, they said end of the month, so it's either the 29th or the 30th. Maybe the 28th, like, that's a Monday, then you got a Tuesday and a Wednesday. So, within five days, we should have update 14. And the suspicion is, is that with update 14, we might have Tyrannus arriving. If it's going to be in this system, that'll be interesting, because there is some, like, human installations here. So maybe we are going to get some, like, stuff. Oh, true Tiger King. It's two people uploading data to EDSM. Someone may have discovered it, like, like long long ago that's a good point is it tuesday loot oh my god should i just call in sick to work for like a week i mean it's still pandemic time i could just be like yo it's covid it's covid i'm, I'm out i'm out for a week they're like you're playing video games aren't you no okay how close are we now Two four six. Two four six. I mean, I think we just have to do what we've done for the last twenty minutes about ooh, two hundred and forty-five more times, and then we'll be there. So let me just bring out that calculator again. Hold on. Let's see. So we we have to do two hundred and forty-five times what? It's been about twenty minutes. So we just have four hundred four thousand nine hundred more minutes. Divide that by, uh, what is it, like, uh, those are minutes, so like 60. That's 81.6 hours we should be there. And then, hold on, wait, how many days until Tuesday? It's like, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or like, Tuesday is the day, so like, let's divide that by like, let's round it up, say like, it's 48 hours for full two days. How many more hours left in this day? It's like 4 o'clock, so that's, wait, which, are we using the British day? I don't know, whatever. Let's just say like 68 hours divided by 68. What was I trying to calculate again? Uh, It's 1.13 somethings. Is that days for me to get there or is that the amount of time between me getting there and then the Thargoids blowing everything up and burning the bubble? I'm not sure, but that you have it there, folks. The numbers... You have the raw numbers, you do the math. Oh, I didn't, hold on, I didn't divide that by uh, 3.14. 3.14. And then, can I get the the, cos the tan of this? Okay, that number went up. Oh, I didn't divide, I multiplied. It's fine. I'm using the imperial days, we use metric days. What are imperial days? Is that part of the, the Julian calendar? I go by... I use the moon to tell time. Although the moon is like changing or some shit, right? Did you guys know that daylight savings is racist? What? How? I mean, I know it's stupid and pointless, just like racism. I just didn't, didn't I didn't correlate the two. Interesting. When you turn, this thing is like turning with you, different from the background. So I think this thing is in the system. That's the only reason we're getting a distance on it. I don't think we're going to get there in the street, though. <laughs> I hate how in camera mode it 
it wiggles down to a a lower light. What if I turn my lights on? And then go near them. Where are my lights? Where are the lights? Okay, there they are. They're in the little... I like how the lights are in the little hood of the crate. There you go. The closer I am to the light, the brighter Tyrannus becomes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're getting some detail. That is super bright. I like the colors. It's like got kind of like an aqua seafoam green, a little bit of jungle Crayola green. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a bio break, then we'll do another measurement, see how far we got. I'm probably not gonna do this for the rest of the stream. We'll just go back to the Kingfisher and try and steal samples of, of Thargoid flesh. But I do need to do a bio break. So you know what that means. It's ride time. Good luck with your kidneys, I'll be back in five.
Okay, I am back. Sorry for the long bio break. Just had to, uh, you know, release the cargo hatch and, uh, you know, deposit some bio waste. But look at this. I am maxed out almost on speed. I'm at 1,550 times the speed of light. How is that even possible? Like, what is this? What is this super cruise physics anyway? And if I'm going that fast, like, uh, does that affect time at all? That would be kind of cool if, like, if you're going fast and then your clock got out of sync. Even if it just, like, corrected itself when you drop out of Super Cruise, that would be, like, a neat effect. You did not want to know about that. Well, you know what? We're on, we, we, we reveal all on the Dangus. All information is up for, for grabs. All right, let's do a check-in. Let's see how far... Can we get to Tyrannus? I mean, ooh, we've made some progress, right? Like, 244. I mean, how far is... Is this, like... Is this like Hutton orbital style difference? Is this gonna take an hour? Is it worth it to go to an hour, like do an hour of this? Of just, 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 just trying to get really, really far? Crazy though, how fast you, you uh, can go the further you get from stars, right? Do you wanna to go to Hutton? No. I mean, at least at Hutton, you know you get a mug. Here, we're probably gonna get a glitched out signal source and potentially instant death. Or, at best case scenario, a game crash. But I'm kind of just slightly further than Hutton. So you're saying it's kind of possible though. Like, okay, what is the actual distance? It's only like 40 minutes for Hutton, right? Hold on, I'm gonna Google this. And by the way, what did you guys, hold on, before I Google this, what did you do during the bio break? Hold on, let me, let me just change up the, uh, image get a nice little shot of the exterior while I do some quick googling distance to Hutton orbital Hutton orbital road apparently that's a thing or it is 0.22 light years so that's not far off it takes about an hour and a half at full throttle. I mean, hmm. An hour and a half. We could just all go eat dinner and then come back and we'd probably be there. One point, you're 1 1.3 million light seconds away from me. That's not far on a scale of relativity. Just You just gotta go faster. You just gotta get to 1602 light seconds. Though I will always be ahead of you, because it's kind of like that that thing where it's like if you're running and the other guy is accelerating at a faster rate, you can never catch up. You can't catch up until I hit the midpoint of the journey and start to decelerate. But I don't think that actually happens. I do want to see though, at some point, will the rogue signal source actually appear? So I'm 1.62 away from here, and then 244 million away from... Wait, 244 million. Wait a minute. Am I doing the math wrong? Is this like unreasonably far and I'm my expectations are completely off base? The star Imagine if the Stargoid did give free anacondas. Steals SG1 in game. Imagine, yeah, imagine if you could, like, get a first discovery tag on this thing, right? Florida Berserker Division, what's that? Is that a YouTube channel? I'm still going faster, though. What is, does anyone know, what is the maximum speed in Super Cruise? Hold on, that's another Google. What is the maximum speed in Super Cruise? I'm going to throw an Elite Dangerous, because... I don't know if some cars... So the maximum super cruise speed when not affected by stellar bodies is 2001 C and takes 57 minutes to reach. Wow. 2001, eh? Someone's an Arthur C. Clarke fan. Which I wish there were more... Um, uh, you know, like, I like finding, like, oh, it's Carl Sagan Station and stuff like that. I like these little tidbits. Would they give, would they give you a free anaconda, though? Is that the ship? that um, the Stargoids would prefer. What if it's like, hey, here's a free dolphin. It's like, well, that was a waste of time.
Let's uh, let's make sure we're on the system chat. I want to see if there's any scientists here. <coughs> Signal source heat is at 0 0.5. What does that mean? Hourly check-in, no new reports, still tracking the signal report. This guy's doing hourly check-ins. What a role player. I love it. It's because I am here. They fear me, says Trailstorm. That bravado. Here to tap it, huh? They've come for the Thargussy. Oh my. It's very blue in the chat today. These scientists are very uh, horny. They've been staring at data spreadsheets all day, and now they just want to put their peepees inside of space Thargoids. If you scan it with the FSS at certain distances, it'll record the heat. Pretty sure back there it's at zero. Interesting. Okay, so there is like a heat factor. Gets higher the closer it gets. I'm heading towards it. The max I've seen is temp is 40. That was at the Fisher. My goal is interception. Gonna get close, then take it slow. Let it come to me. Like a trap. In-game files reference it as Thargoid Titan. I don't think the actual model is in-game though. Not till update 14. Okay, one sec. I'm just going to do another little check-in. Let's see if we have a heat signal. No, temperature is still zero. And we're at 243. I mean, technically speaking, okay, I'm heading towards it. And let's say I get to 2000 C. Can we do, okay, can we do this? Let's calculate. Let us calculate. So I am at uh, C button, C button. 2000 okay so let's say i get to 2001 c okay and then we know it's two, divided by 244 zero, 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 zero. okay so that would be what's the e6 does anyone know what that e6 is so like 8.2 units of speed modules what if we divide that by 60 it's what am I doing? Does anyone know math? Okay, hold on, wait, wait, 240, let's try the other way. 244 million, right? And then divided by uh, 2001 is 121. Okay, how about this, 244, let's assume that the, the Stargoid can go as fast as I can. And let's divide that by two. It's really only 122 that I need to do. And hold on, what, what unit of measurement do we have here? Is it light seconds? Is it light light hours? Light uh, light seconds, okay. All right, let's keep that speed up. I kind of want to get there now. It's like a terrible thing because it's going to be so boring, but like, just think of the possibilities. But what if it takes like five hours? Like I'll give up, but then I'll have wasted all my time and yours. Well, I guess we could we could go on the forums. You feel like you're watching a D2A stream. Oh no! <laughs> I know this is not usually we, we uh, on the dangus here. We're doing more shenanigans, but in this case, we're just literally like, let's let's go in super cruise forever and ever. So let's let's see if we can see our coffee. Can we see our coffee? Where's my coffee? No, 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 don't move. What'd I do? What have I done? Where's my coffee? There it is. Look at that little coffee machine. Okay, hold on. We're, we're going off base here. We are going the wrong way. It's like when I start doing math and stuff, it's like, oh my God, what's this guy trying to do here? And down to earth with like real science and stuff. All right, I'm on the forums. I'm gonna see what staff developer posts have there been, but only for Elite Dangerous, because they don't care about Planet Coaster. Okay. Oh yeah, they got the Black Friday thing going on. So yeah, if you do not have the midnight block paint jobs, I do have a few of those. So yeah, other than that, we've got the update 14 Beyond and Live. Someone was telling me earlier, I don't know if it was you, Loot, but, like, someone was telling me something about um, them talking about, like, engineering? Do we know where they talked about that? Let's see here. 
Because, okay, all I know is that if you haven't done the console copy profile by now, the one big thing that you need to know is that uh, they're going to take it down and restart it later, and it's going to be, like, different. It's going to be, like, maybe not as good. So if you have not copied your console profile, highly recommend that you do this uh, Do this before uh, the universe collapses. Or at least the, the form collapses. Oh, that was you, Eddie. Oh, they talked about it on their stream. Yeah, see, I the problem is, like, you know, I got a job and stuff, right? So it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, it's Thursday. They're doing a stream in the middle of the day. And it's like, I can't get on those streams anymore because I don't do uh, work from home. I don't do no work from home no more. So I can't just, like, pretend I'm on lunch and watch a Frontier stream or, you know, do that while uh, having my eyes blur together in a spreadsheet. Uh, what'd this be? Okay, 242. I think this is probably in vain. I don't want to wait, like, five hours. And I think that's what it's going to take. So my thought is... Uh, maybe go back to the, the Kingfisher and try to get Thargoid flush samples, because it's far more entertaining. Come and live in Europe. Oh, I wish. That would be nice. I think I would enjoy Europe. Just all the, you know, drinking that I could do. Little hole-in-the-wall pubs. My favorites. If you haven't done that yet, why? Well, some people, I don't know. It's like, I, I've seen some people talking. It's like, yeah, I haven't done it yet. And it's like, do it now because they might not allow everything to copy over after they revise it. Once live and legacy mode come into play, no one knows what that means yet. It means more modes. It's at the perfect time here in Switzerland. When is it in... When do you get the stream in, in Switzerland? Because aren't you, like, slightly... Is it before? You're, like, further back in time from the Britain... The Britain... The Britons. The Britons. <laughs> You're keeping it as an alt explorer. Yeah, I mean, like, like even just, the, like, the legacy account. So already I'm 4.2.4 million out. But I think the problem here that, like, this is why I'm about to give up, is that I'm 2.4 million out. I've made 2.4 million progress towards it. 242 million to go. Yeah, this is not happening. We're going back to the Kingfisher. Because <laughs> this will take far too long. But if you had all the patience in the world and 16 hours to waste, I mean, in theory, you could just, like, leave this on in the background. You're, it would get rid of all your notoriety. Like, if you're at 10 notoriety and you need to get rid of your notoriety, go visit the Stargoid. But no, I think I think it's time to go back to uh, where we were. All right, Eddie, I'm jumping back to the the Yoku, the Yoku system, back to the Kingfisher. Though I tell you, man, these Stargoids look cool. I'm very intrigued to know what they turn out to be, and honestly, we're days away, days, people, just days. Or well, that's assuming that we that the update doesn't just add the assets to the game. And they turn out to be broken. And then they have to do like months and months of like fixing. Which is a possibility. It, it's bang on time right when your last lesson finishes. At five. Okay, there you go. That would be a good time. See here in like Canada. AKA Space Canada. The Frontier streams happen at like. Like 11 a.m. It's like right in the middle of the work day. And it's like. I get it, because they're like a British company, but I feel like, uh, especially like poor Californians, like that live stream would happen for them at like 8 a.m. It's like, you're going to set your alarm early so you can wake up and hear uh, Arthur and Bruce uh, just torture each other. Sometimes sometimes their banter is hilarious. Sometimes I'm like, is this, do they really feel this way? No, I, I, I enjoy their uh, banter quite a lot. Oh no, sticky keys. Stop with the sticky keys. Get out of here. You have faith? I mean... I... Always buffer my expectations when it comes to Frontier updates. It's like, don't expect it on day one. But I will try to... You know, after I get home from work. Or even... I don't know. We'll see. The problem is I got the... The big, the big bosses. The big bosses coming to town. I can't really... Uh, not go to work and play video games. 
But I will definitely um, be on that evening to kind of see what the madness is. And I'll certainly be, uh, you know, looking at Reddit throughout the day. How do you turn off sticky keys? Is there actually a way? I think I tried it before and it's like, hold on. Sticky keys. Since stuck keys are usually the result of spilled liquid or excess dust buildup. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, we'll do it later. But sticky keys is like the bane of my existence. When I'm running and trying to run faster, I just start jamming the shift key. Then it has the opposite effect where it just pulls you out of the game. Like, what is that even for? 8 a.m. block your calendar. I mean, look, it's like, uh... You know, if it, I I get excited for some of the live streams, but then it's like when you think about it, these live streams are like what two hours long, and typically speaking, it's like ten percent of it is actually content. The rest of it is like screenshots or banter or just like the 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 CMs just messing around, right? So it's like okay, you could just like condense all of that live stream into one snackable three minute video that you could do. Um, you know, at a time where someone could watch it on their phone, in the bathroom, while at work. And then, you know, when it comes to like, okay, it's a two hour live stream and I don't know when they're gonna talk about content. I can't really pop in for that. Um, is it true that Quebec has always been trying to break away from Canada? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they, not so much anymore, but they kind of think of themselves as their own little world. There are a lot of like Quebec specific laws that the rest of, you know, other places don't have to worry about. And they were, they did try to separate at one point. There was like a whole like referendum on it. And it was pretty narrow, but you know, the rest of Canada was like, no, we want to keep you around because, you know, poutine or some shit, I don't know. You hate when they read the Galnet news. What's the point of this? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, like maybe add to the story, like have like, um, one of the uh, office interns role play as like the chancellor or like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like they're, they could do a lot more. <clears throat> Sometimes it does feel like they just put it together in the last minute. They're like, well, let's just like spend five minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes talking about Twitch drops. Then we'll talk about screenshots for 20 minutes, pad it out as long as possible, give you 5%, five minutes of content dump where 90% of the content dump is, we really wish that we could tell you what's going on, but you know, that would spoil things and it's like okay i guess uh i guess we'll just have to find out later i do like when they do the uh developer interviews I, th that was kind of neat they just kind of like did a couple of those and then just stopped it's one of those things where you you gotta wonder if uh like you know like they spend 90 percent of their day just like answering pissed off people on the forums and then they have like five minutes to actually play in the live stream i mean they have good production value on the live streams now i really like their like studios and the background imagery like they put some effort into it i appreciate that more effort than i do <laughs> but then again you know i ain't been paid uh in the setting for the keyboard the sticky keys turn off the keyboard shortcut for sticky keys it seems simple don't it the problem is maybe it's too simple. Uh, type ease of access in the search field of the taskbar. Ease of access keyboard settings, okay. Use sticky keys, off. Oh wait, allow the shortcut. Get rid of that, okay. I will uncheck that box. Maybe I will never, hold on, let's do a test. Oh my God! Finally, it's over. Oh, thank you, Sam. It's over. No more sticky keys. I can I can give myself a a nauseous headache without pop-ups. The day is mine. Twenty five hundred. Okay, two thousand one. What are you talking about, Daniel? Are you just put numbers in the chat. Are you doing Are you doing math? Are you doing the math for, for us? All right, here we are back at the Kingfisher. Now, what do we want? Thargoid flesh. When do we want it? Now, do we have limpets? Oh, please tell me we have limpets. Oh, we have limpets. Oh, awesome. 
All right, we're gonna need to be nimble. We're gonna need to be deft. We need to be tricky. All right, we. Oh, oop, oop. Okay, we need to not smack into mega ship. Yeah, what is up with that uh, announcer? Is this a scouty boy? What is that? Oh, he was just not through the tube. I could probably just kill this guy. Uh, do I know working? Oh. This one's a regenerator. Oh boy, we got caustic mixels. Don't let it hit. Don't let it hit. Ah! Okay, I really need to get point defense or something. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Is there still a color spill from the green screen on their streams? I don't... I... I mean... For a live stream, I'm not expecting, like... You know, movie quality green screens. Just the fact that they put some effort into it. Um have like cool backgrounds and stuff like that is enough for me i do like the super cruise news bits the best and i'm like or the channel 7 news or whatever they did like the ron burgundy kind of stuff i don't think they do that that much anymore though okay i need to overheat myself let's just get rid of some of these guys oh boy okay caustic is good release the heat sinks now we need to find an interceptor I think there is scout tissue, but like I don't, I don't need that. Oh yeah, I need power to the thing for the heat sinks. That's so cool that heat sinks actually use system power. I mean, cool is maybe not the right word for it, but it's neat. There should be an interceptor here. Like I got um, bamboozled. Ah! Okay, I kind of overshot that one. Okay, we got a frame shift anomaly. Let's prep the... Prep the thing that we need to not die with. Okay, we need to find interceptors. I, I, I don't care about these scouts. Here we go, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. You can't hurt me. I can't believe I actually pulled that off. All right, now we want to... Oh wait, hold, hold, what are you? Okay, uh, I don't care, limp at you, limp at you. I am limping you, oh God, oh God. Reduce that heat, reduce that heat. Then he can't hit me. We're going into a cold orbit. Okay, I need pips to engines. Research limpet is attached and doing its the good work. We just gotta keep our heat low. Okay, we're gonna need some system power for those heat sinks. Research limpet failed? Oh no! There's a max range, damn it! I got so cold, he just like literally lost interest. Okay. Limp it away. We'll have to start all over. Oh, there's Eddie. Excellent. Eddie, uh. You can be my Patsy. Okay, he sinks. You can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me! Okay, apparently he can still see me. I'm gonna run out of heat sinks like very quickly. Oh my, oh my. This is very rude. Okay, is my research limpet still trying to catch up with him? Oh my god. Get on there! 
do your thing. Oh, oh, what happened? What happened? How did that happen? You gotta go. The warden is on her way home. <laughs> Thanks, Fresh McClava. Thanks for showing up. Uh, apparently, I just blew up. And Ray Mobile has to get some work done, too. Hey, uh, I get that, man. Sometimes you just gotta get a job done. Other times, the job does you. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a couple more times to get some flesh samples. I did not expect to die so quickly there. This is, like, interesting. You took the wrong ship? Uh-oh. No, wait, that's where I need to be. It's such a process to buy limpets, man. It sucks that the Kingfisher is so freaking far away. It's like 5,000 light seconds. It's a little annoying. But yeah, man, I, I am actually excited for, for update 14. I think, I think at the risk of, you know, overhyping my expectations, I think it's going to be a banger. I think we're going to get some really interesting content. I don't know what it is, but I'm really, really hopeful that this content can really, like, cause a lot of players who don't play anymore to think, like, let me come back and just see this, right? And then from there, hopefully that content is good enough that they'll be like, you know what? Yeah, maybe I'll play a couple more times. And so on and so forth. Can we explore some planets around the system for Goid vessels? Ooh, that's a good idea, Eddie. Well, let's try to get their uh, flesh one more time, and then, uh, yeah, maybe, like, go to a couple nearby systems and see if there are, like... You mean, like, crashed vessels? Like, maybe they, uh... A couple of them just clumsily... slammed into a planet? Might need to just do one of these doohickeys. Gotcha. Yeah, the other thing too is I think with update 14, um, they were supposed to do this earlier, but they delayed it to happen at update 14, which to be honest makes sense. Um, is they're tweaking the exploration uh, payouts for the genetic like hand samples of like fungus and stuff, which I think, yeah, like I hope they multiply it by like a hundred because it feels like it doesn't pay that much right now at all. And I think, like, given the amount of time that you have to do, and, like, you know, you gotta go land on a planet, scan three samples. Like, I hope they really, like, just mega buff it. Like, that should be the highest paying career in Elite, is just going around scanning plants. Just based on the time investment, the amount of time it takes, and the level of boringness. Like, it's basically, like, on par with mining, if you think about it. So here's hoping they, uh, buff the hell out of that. I remember they did buff the exploration payouts. It's still not like the most highly paying activity, which I guess, you know, you could argue that it's like one of the lowest risks, but like, I don't know, man. Why, why does Frontier not want us making money? What's their problem? Let me, give me money, Frontier. Give me money and then just give me lots of things to spend it on. Like, I, I am getting a little worried about my balance. 1.5 billion. And it just keeps going down because I'm an idiot. It would be really nice to, you know, see that go up for once. I mean, to be fair, I don't spend that much time playing it. Ooh, okay, hold on. I have to go for another very quick bio break. I'll be back shortly.
Ah! Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, sometimes, uh... Sometimes when nature calls, it calls multiple times. And I just missed the, the thing. But that's fine. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Can we, uh... You can still make, like, 500 million an hour. Where? Where do you make 500 million an hour? Is that the, uh, Rubigo runs, or, uh... South of Cios or whatever? How do you steal my ship? Remember when Braben said that you could steal people's ships in the Kickstarter? Pepperidge Farms remembers. I wish that was an option too. You can do that in Star Citizen. If someone doesn't lock their ship, you can just go ahead and take off and have your way with it. Which I think is awesome. When are we going to get that in Elite, Braben? When am I gonna get the goddamn multi crew where I can pilot the ship when the other person doesn't want to pilot it? Come on, man. Frame shift anomaly detected. Hey, where'd you go, Eddie, by the way? Are you in the same uh, system here? Are you in the Kingfisher right now, still fighting Thargoids? I don't see your, your nav beacon. All right, here we go. This time it's gonna work, I swear. This time it'll be all different. I just need to memorize the bindings. Okay, so weapons here. By the way, any good loot? No, I do need that stuff, but I need to prepare myself mentally for this, for this moment. Okay, we got a red thing happening over here. Come at me. Come at me. I see your little bubble. Oh, it's an interceptor. Interesting. Okay. Research limp it away right away. Let's get that field neutralizer. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that worked. Now you you go ahead. You 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 shoot me, I don't care. That's cool. That will distract you from the limpet that's going to take your your precious flesh. I just need him to slow down so the limpet can like get onto him. Okay, what if I just stop? Will he stop? And then maybe the limpet will be fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's right. I'm gonna take your little flesh. You're having display trouble. Oh no. All right, now we can't let the limpet get too far away. We need to stay on his tail. Quite literally. Oh, look at that flip. That was a crazy 360, dude. And just he keep launching those heat sinks. That will affect his aim. Okay, we're about halfway done extraction. I think we're getting we're getting a little flush. We oh no oh no 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 no. Stop shooting me with the missiles! Okay, at least they weren't caustic. Caustic would be really shitty. Now we just need to make sure he doesn't run away because uh, apparently these limpets have their own little range and whatever. Okay, maybe that's too close. Almost. Almost. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Now give me the sample. Get back in there. Okay, another wake coming. We're gonna have to queue up that old... Did I get it? Come on, research limpet. I don't got all day. There we go! Alright, now run, 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 run. Feel through the neutralizer! No, 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 no! I did it too early! No! They were going to implement, but they saw a grumpman and cried about being destroyed in an open world game. I know. I, I think some people just take take um, uh, like I don't understand. Like like uh, violence is fun if it's in a fictional universe, right? I don't understand why some people are just like like you have solo mode. If you don't want to in interact with people, you can just go there. Okay, I'm running. 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 Cargo scoop up. Retract, retract, retract. 
We have the tissues! We've done it. It's a Cyclops. We've taken the Cyclops' flesh. And now we must return to the Dangabus and store it safely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temperature critical. Oh my god, what a parking lot. Like, seriously. This part of space is just like... Getting so many visitors right now. Look at that, I don't die every time. See, I was successful. I successfully extracted the Thargoid residue. But yeah, if you guys have not done your console transfers now, let this be a warning. Do it now, because it is going to change, and it might not be as good. Alright, one quick stop at the Dangabus. I kind of want to try that one more time. Oh, damn it! Why did I park so far out? Damn you, Dangabus. If I didn't have cargo, I would just blow myself up in spite to get there quicker. Though if you do that, sometimes then you just randomly land on, you end up on someone else's, um, on a, someone else's carrier. All right, Dangabus, you win this time. But yeah, this is interesting. So, I mean, honestly, the Kingfisher thing, it was like, we all knew this was going to happen. Like, this has kind of like been Frontier's like go-to writing style for the past like four years is we're sending a mega ship to study the Thargoids. We're sending a mega ship with guardian artifacts. We're sending a mega ship to greet them with fruits and vegetables and whistle at them. And then boom, boom, it gets destroyed. It's like, I was kind of hoping this time that maybe we'd see something new. Like, hey, maybe they actually talked back and they said something like, could you please move your blocking our parking space? And then blew them up, right? Like something, anything different. But no, it's the same old motif of just, you know, boy, boy meets Thargoid. Thargoid, um, wait, what the hell? Toxic corrosion. Oh, I guess the uh, tissue sample's corrosive. I didn't know that. But yeah, boy meets Thargoid, boy falls in love with Thargoid, Thargoid destroys boy, boy drops thousands of escape pods, Thargoid eats escape pods, then Thargoid uh, eats the rest of humanity, and women inherit the earth. I'm trying to do that thing from Jurassic Park or whatever. <laughs> it's like Jeff Goldblum. Man, I, I don't know if you guys saw the, the latest Jurassic Park movie. It's got Jeff Goldblum and, and, like, the original cast in it, as well as, like, the whole, like, Chris Pratt kind of deal. It was, like, I, 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 I don't know whether... I think I enjoyed it, um, not because it was good, but because it was, I guess, more interesting than just making another Jurassic Park movie. It was kind of weird. Like, the whole plot was, like, gigantic crickets or whatever, and, like, Steve Jobs is going to unleashed the giant crickets to destroy the world's food supply but he fucked up the cure and then Jeff Goldblum's like yeah I figured and he's like I'll try to make some money off of it there's like dinosaurs in it too and stuff but it's like a weird it's a weird mesh of like too many characters <clears throat> and then there were like new characters in it and I'm like you already have like two whole separate franchises of characters like why are you introducing new characters this, this movie is so jumbled but I still kind of kind of enjoyed it. Like it had its moments where it was just like stupid fun. Like I don't mind I don't mind uh, bad movies if there's like at least like one or two scenes or moments or characters that I can uh, appreciate. It certainly is not like uh, when you look at like the first Jurassic Park and even this even. It kind of, like, made The Lost World seem like an alright movie. Which I remember being, like, kind of disappointed with that one. I was like, oh, wow, like, that first Jurassic Park movie is great. That second one, eh, you know, like, uh, it was alright. Now it looks like a, a freaking masterpiece. 
compared to the latest one. Alright. Oh wait, this is the, not how you do the thing. I will transfer that, but then... Oh, look at that! It's like, I actually have just like randomly stored limpets instead of uh... Like, why do I put like limpets in the carrier as well as like be able to buy them at any time? But look at all this crap I got on my on my carrier. I wonder if it'd be interesting. Do I have um, occupied escape pods? Or did I already feed those? I have bog spaniels. I think we tried already. Oh yeah, I do. Maybe I should try... Um... Okay, hold on. Let me move one limpet back. But they're all hostile. Well, in that system, what if we go, like Eddie said, just to, to like a nearby system. And we'll see if there's anything. And we'll try to feed them occupied escape pods. You're tired? Well, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm only, I'm gonna probably like end the stream in like 20 minutes, maybe 15. Cause I gotta eat soon. I'm gonna try to see if I can get hyper addicted though. And I wonder if you get hyper addicted in this region, are they going to, uh, are they gonna try to kill you? Or are they gonna just do the whole scan you and go thing? Although I do have guardian shit on me. I don't know if that makes them inclined to be not nice. But I don't know. I will keep track on Tyrannus. I might log in tomorrow uh, and just play around as well. And if Tyrannus is a reasonable distance, I might stream for a very short period of time and do it. I know I always say it. Oh yeah, I'm going to stream on Twitch on Sunday and then I never do. It will all depend on really two things. Tyrannus's um, distance and how far I progressed in my laundry, which I got to do this weekend. I know, fun stuff, right? Very exciting. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Vin Chubb. That's interesting. In my late, in my next uh, How to Die uh, series, there's a Vinge Beacon in there. The Mystic Oak Clinic. Yeah, this is like a pretty populous system. I just want to get hyper addicted, but that's kind of hard to trigger, to be honest. It's like, I feel like if you jump close to Tyrannus, like, it would be cool if it was like, yeah, like you always get hyper addicted. That would have been a neat little escalation. Or at least like, you know, 75% of the time. Do, do, do. No, it doesn't look like I have prediction. Any non human signal sources? No. It's all quiet here. Well, actually, let me just look in the discovery bucket. What are, do non-human signal sources have like a different spect- oh, those are just carriers. Cornelia Station. I do find it interesting how there's distance and temperature. I wonder what we're supposed to use that information for. Like if the Thargoid gets too hot, do we cool it down? It's also interesting that, like, yeah, you don't see distance or temperature unless it's, like, really close. Zero, 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 zero. Did I check that one? Oh! We got a distance there. So, yeah, I guess it has to be within, like, a billion light seconds, because that's 789. Yeah, for sure. If I do a stream tomorrow, I'll uh, post it on the Discord. I feel just like really bad for not being on Twitch as much as I should. It's another system. We could try there. I just want to get hyper addicted, but is that asking too much? I know they're fairly rare. 
It's one of those things where when you don't want to be hyperdicted, you get hyperdicted all the time. And then as soon as you want to do it, it's like, no. No, no, no. Doggy boys. I see you in which space. Does it improve your odds of being hyperdicted if you carry, like, certain objects in your cargo? Alright, we got unidentified signal sources. Are any of those Thargoid, Thorgodu in nature? Degraded. Yeah, these rogue signal sources are kind of cluttering it up. It's interesting where they are. Like, think about where they are on the signal source spectrum. Like, these are transient. These are concentrated. And then you got asteroid clusters. So it's somewhere between a concentrated source and an asteroid cluster. But, like, it's supposed to be bigger than a Coriolis, which I imagine is, like, already bigger than an asteroid. I do really like this new uh, FSS scanner. I know some people were very uh, unhappy with this rollout or this change or whatever, but I think it's like, it's pretty dope. It's better than just like pointing at shit and then going there for like five minutes. Let's try going there. I wish you could filter based on systems that have permit locks and just look at those in the galaxy map. That's unfortunately not a filtering option. But those are usually interesting systems for one reason or another. I predict me, Thargoid Zaddy. Maybe that's the key. Maybe you have to call them uh, Zaddies. No. We got nothing. Anything here? Not really. I should probably pop a D-scan. No. Oh, look at this little beige system. It's all beige and browns. Feels like sepia. The best chance to get hyperlinked by Tyrannus is to jump in and out of Swananku. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that info, Charles McManny. Where the heck was Swanwanku? Swanku. Yeah, why not? I guess that makes sense, right? First, we will pass through the legendary Hyade Sector DQO. Hyperdicted, not hyperlinked. To get hyperlinked, where the Thargoids like, please click on this link and link and uh, please click on this link, please click on this link to be traveled to our Thargoid website, and you think it's going to like uh, some news site like Galnet, but it turns out to be Goid Hub. Damn Thargoids tricked me again. A Thargoid phishing scheme would be interesting. That would actually be a cool plot. Is like, what if the aliens were trying to like I infiltrate our data systems? by creating fake, like stealing the identities of the commanders whose escape pods they've abducted and then just like making comms messages from them, trying to convince um, other commanders that are in the bubble, be like, hello, I'm, I'm the prince of the Pleiades and I just happen to have $5 billion uh, that I need to, to store somewhere. Do you mind if I use your account? Can you send me your bank account details? P.S. I am not a Thargoid. It makes sense though, yeah. Like if if, if Tyrannus is already kind of in this system, or at least oh, and there you have it. There you have it. There. You, thank you, Charles. That was very good advice. Look at that immediate payoff. This is exactly what we're looking for. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm prepared. What do I need? I need the. Where is it? Yeah. Oh bugger. Oh, they are just like hostile. They are just like not messing around. You know what? Let's see what we can do. 
I have the tools. I have the technology. I have the skills. Oh, no, wait. That's the one thing I don't have. Get over here. Why is he so dark? Oh, did I get him? Oh, I did too. Oh, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. Run away! Run away! Faster! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about the other guy? Stop it! Okay, running away this way. Okay, this. Oh, there, there's Tyrannus. That's very pretty. Oh, guy. Okay. Alright, he's still got his shield up. Can he take on two Thargoids at once? I mean, anything is possible, right? Anything is possible in Elite Dangerous. Okay. We don't need a canopy anyway, that's fine. Oh, I'm being shocked. I'm being shocked. I got your heart. Oh, no, no, no. I'm at 0%. Eject. Oh, my God. It was a good battle, though. Two on one. Two on one. And I got two hearts. I got two hearts. I. It's better than no heart. That kid's got fight. He's got heart in him. Oh, no. I should have... I, was, I forgot I was trying to feed them escape pods. Well, they struck the first blow, okay? But that's interesting. So they, they attack on sight, which is not normal for high predictions, meaning they really don't want you to get to look at Tyrannus. Whatever they're hiding... Now I'm even more intrigued. Oh, look at that. It put me back on the Dangabus. How, how nice. Well, I think... Yeah, I think I'm probably going to call it a night there. Been streaming for three hours anyway. Um, I might do something tomorrow. If I have time, what I'll do tomorrow is just trying to check out that little Stargoid. Um, if I do that, I'll do that on Twitch, which I have. Uh, what the hell's it called again? It's like uh, Spatula Dangus. Yeah, that's the one. Twitch to, to slash Spatula Dangus, something like that. I don't know. You figure it out. But. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, thank you guys for uh, for joining me today. Yeah, it was uh, a little bit of goofiness around the Kingfisher, which, you know, pretty much the same old, same old, what we expected from a mega ship. but update 14 is right around the corner, and this is one where I'm allowing myself to drink the Kool-Aid and drink that little bit of hopium, because I think, um, I think they, they've got something in store for us that will be incredibly interesting, incredibly uh, dingus. Right? And if not, well, then we'll have something to make fun of them before. <laughs> anyway, guys, you have a good uh, rest of your Saturdays. I'm going to go fill my belly with delicious, delicious bread and carbs. And just all that kind of lovely stuff. Um, and then if I see you tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. If not, then I will see you next week. Same Dangus time. Same Dangus channel. Commander Dangus Spatula out. Salute.